Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Had something come up literally at the last minute. But we got there eventually. Uh, we need some more solid rocket fuel, and we're playing catch-up on the solid rocket fuel right now, aren't we? Because I didn't make a big enough storage for it. Turtle, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Valdak. Does indeed seems good. Philip B, welcome in also. Nice to have you here today. Um... I want more solid rocket fuel now, not later. We're yellow. There we go. Ninja dogs, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Not sure how there's so much more in this container than this one. That's a little weird. Oh, it's probably the weird fluid physics or something. Hmm. Maybe I should find room for a pump over here. Well, hold on. This one could have a pump here, and this one could have a pump here. Let's do that. Because we've got plenty of oxygen reserves right now, but they're not being used all that fast. Uh, I know it'll get faster as the stored oxygen gets bigger, but still. Just because this won't make it faster overall doesn't mean it won't make it faster when we have some demand. That's more like it. That's a lot better. Look how much slower this one is still. Even though there's nine, uh, there's 10,000 on this side... In this one container? Bruh. That's so dumb. Maybe I should refactor this. I like how we squeezed it in here, but... Maybe... Maybe we could do better. Awesome cat, welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I'd have to make a significant asymmetry to make the pumps work the same way here. Also, there's less fluid on this side. 20k in this container, but but this one's getting the oxygen slower. Ravna. Okay, fine. Let's try redesigning this properly. And for starters, get rid of all of this. Get rid of all of that. Put some rail back in. What the, where am I going? Get rid of those signals for now. Okay. So with this as a starting point. Light oil drop off. Oxygen comes from here. And iron plate drop off. I'd like to stick with this much if I can, but... It seems like... That's not entirely feasible. I can't do anything symmetrical and have, like, direct oxygen into the machines, because then there's no way to get the light oil in. I wish we could mirror these things. Hmm. I guess... I... Hmm... <clears throat> I guess I could make sure that 
I, you know what? I, I bet with the way this game works with fluids, it's not going to even work that way. But maybe if we have the exact same number of pipe sections, maybe with pumps coming from here, I don't think it's going to work. Early stream? Well, this is actually on time. I just haven't been able to keep up that schedule that often lately. Welcome in, damsel. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't know if there is a good solution to this. I think maybe we just about did as well as could be expected. Which kind of sucks. Just how many of these machines would I need? Uh, if this is maxed out. I, I think it's like 20 or something. To support these two fuel refineries. Uh, let's see. 1100. 400. Negative 80. And if these are speed 9s, which, kind of a frivolous use of speed 9s, but let's say hypothetically, uh, we need 6,000 per machine and even 12,000. And this gives us 427.5. So we would require 29 machines. 29 atmospheric condensers to keep up with just two of these. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Did you move it up then? Oh, wait, no, we don't have a... We, we don't have... Daylight savings in my state. I don't think I've changed the time in, unless... Unless you live in Victoria or something. Did Damsel secretly move down under? Have you seen the catastrophe? Indeed. <laughs> yeah, that was awful. That was nasty. Hmm. If this was an oxygen tank, how how fast do we go through the light oil? Much slower, right? Only one point two k per second. Maybe I'm insane, but I could have sworn you started at 3 a.m. my time according to your schedule. I don't know. Well, wait, what time is it for you now? It's 1 a.m. right now. Yeah, I was starting like a couple of hours later more often, especially for the non-factorio streams. Uh, but hopefully after a break, uh, that won't be as common. Time zones are dark magic, indeed. I don't know that we can do much better here, honestly. Even if we don't do, like, uh, direct insertion or something. Which, cringe. I, I don't... I don't see a good way... That's kind of even worse. Hmm. Hold up. Maybe maybe we're onto something here. So if these are one tile apart. Or two tiles away from this thing. And something like this. We should be able to have the exact same number of pipe connections on each side. Except this would have to go down here, so this is a long arm. So something like that. And... I, I mean, I could directly pump the light oil into this, but that doesn't seem necessary. Uh, that probably can go in there, I suppose. 
No, that doesn't work. Unless? No, no it doesn't. Okay, so this goes over here. This goes here. This goes here. That can direct insert, that can direct insert. And we know that these will line up with a train stop. So if the train stop's still in the same place... Uh, that would mean a short one. And we could have huge tanks like that. One, two, three, one, two, three pieces of pipe to get to the fuel refinery. And if this is all, well, that's not going to work. Uh, if this is all symmetrical, then theoretically this should be balanced, though realistically I wouldn't expect that much. Uh, I could move these down a bit. So we can put the beacon here. And... We could probably fit another one of these up here. So that we can do this. And that's pretty similar to what we already had, right? Uh, where's our rocket fuel? Here it is. Yeah, that's, that's quite similar to what we had. Uh, and we could... Probably move this down a couple more tiles so that we can squeeze in some pumps. Oh, hold on. No, we tried this before. There's no way to fit one more of these like that. Yeah, let's just let's just leave it like this. And we'll have some pumps here. And I guess if I move it down just one more tile, we could fit some more storage. So that goes there. And it's not quite imposing on another build down here, theoretically. I don't hate this. There's no way we can put this off to the side. Oh! I think there is. Bring this up just one more tile. Yeah, that should do it. It's all connected. Uh, okay, I think that's what we'll do. Is the construction train still there? It is. Fantastic. Okay. So, just delete that for now, and uh, we want the light oil, we want long arms up here, short ones down here, I think that goes there. Light oil, like so. And then... Something like this. So basically what we've got, plus one tank. Just need to... Find room to move this. Over here. And then squeeze that up as close as possible. Ditch this one. I guess we could put another one of these here. That's probably better. That's That's got to be better. And we can fit pumps here. Cool. 
So now we've got, uh, with tier 6 modules, we've got 2.25k oxygen per second. Uh, which translates to... Well, if we ignore the productivity bonus, uh, it translates to like two and a bit solid rocket fuel per second. Uh, why is this not... Oh, there's no iron. Yeah, that's a pretty good reason. There we go. I like that a lot better. And we found a way to squeeze in one more machine. I guess I could always, like, extend this out, but nah, I like the symmetry of it. And there's your 1,000 solid rocket fuel. Quite soon. Uh, rebalancing this would be nice. I guess I could always... I guess I could do the belt thing, since we know that this is probably still often going to get made with not in perfect sync, even though we're pumping the oxygen and producing it symmetrically. Fluids be like that. So I guess we'll just do this. It'll do. And that'll prevent trains from waiting there for a long time when we're imbalanced. So how fast is this? 2.25k oxygen per second, and it can consume three times that. 6.75, more than three times that. But we've got a million, a million oxygen storage, which would take, well, a thousand recipes to consume, ignoring that this would be replacing it while it's happening. How long would this take to consume a million? Uh, let's see. What, how about per hour, per minute? Oh, it's like two and a bit minutes. Wow. Okay. And this would be another, like, 250,000 or so. So we'd get one and a quarter train loads made. Uh, if it was going from completely saturated. Before it got down to basically empty on oxygen and got bottlenecked by this again. That's not too bad, I think. I think we've got more than enough storage, and we know that the rate that this theoretically can do, or can do over time, is... should be way more than we need. So that's pretty good. I like that. Now, did we get some solid fuel here? We did. Fantastic. Alright, I've still got two of these GPS satellites to launch. I know it's only two, but let's launch them in sync. Uh, over here. And we'll just do two of these. And go. Fantastic. Now let's put things back to where they're supposed to be. Uh... Probably should have done that first. Alright. GPS. 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 And apparently it's already dropped the GPS from that launch. Cool, cool, cool. So I'll just double check that I've put this back the way it's supposed to be. Uh, if we've got lots of output, blacklist the heat shielding. Oh boy. Fantastic. Uh, if we've got lots of output, blacklist the heat shielding. Uh, otherwise, blacklist... 
Yeah, it's just heat shielding so that it's one of these things so that it won't work. Um, we also blacklist uh, navigation satellite until this timer has run for, I don't know how many ticks, 1200, which is like 20 seconds, I think. Uh, and it gets reset every time one of these inserters swing. And that way we actually launch everything in sync. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's go back upstairs with our teleportation GPS modules. Uh, I didn't realize this was the back upstairs train. Very convenient. Hello, Dylan. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's a lot of traffic around the space elevators these days. I might... I might need to make some more of them. And maybe consider repositioning or duplicating... Well, not duplicating, I don't know. We've got, like, way more vanilla depot than we need at this point, because we've been trimming down uh, the number of trains that we need to do all this stuff. Chun Chun Marie. Uh, where are we going? Back to the mall. Fantastic. You have more GPS modules in the chest? Wait, what? Oh, no. No! <laughs> I, I meant to wait for those, and I forgot. Uh... God damn it. Okay, how about this? Construction spider. Why does it have no bots? Oh, it's just a speedy spider. Oh, that's right, the construction spider got squished. Poor thing. It's still there, I'm so happy. Wait, what is? Can I check... Oh, Nichun Can I check if my name is in gold yet? I want to redeem the nuke thingy. Uh, okay. Owen. I can't search by the actual characters or anything. Oh, there it is. Owen is in gold. Fantastic. Alright. So we got some GPS modules now. Whoop. And... I mean, these don't go into anything else. We may as well make as many of these as we've prepared for. It's kind of expensive, though, Naquium processors and stuff. Okay, fine. How many, how many teleporters do I want to make? We want at least two for upstairs. Nuke we it's nuke the entire shoot. site from orbit. It is the only way to be sure. I guess let's hit this. Fantastic. Wunderbar. Okay, uh, how many of these have we made? One. Still one? And this makes two. Beautiful. Uh, of course, I need to build the other one before we can use this one. So let's uh, let's take a speedier train. Let's go over to the space elevator. The space elevator's name is Chun Chun Mary? I mean... I could do that. But I'm pretty sure it would mess up a lot of trains' schedules. Interplanetary teleportation is going to be so cool. Uh... Interplanetary? Wait, where is that bot going? What? What? 
Wait, what just happened? Can I not put it on space platform plating? Where's the telly? Cannot build on empty space? What do you mean? What? What? Teleporter. What do you mean cannot build on empty space? What? How big is this? Six by five. Uh. No, it's, I, I can't tell. Is it six by six? God damn, I didn't bring plating. Don't tell me this isn't... Oh, no. All right, bring the plating train. If this isn't going to fit here and look nice, I'm going to be upset. I don't want to have to move the names around. I mean, where am I going where am I even going to fit them? Vertically on the sides? Six by six. Oof. That's seven. Okay, this is six and this is seven. We should have room. What the hell? Here comes our train. We could just swap some of the longer ones with shorter ones, maybe. Telly goes here. Can I pick a dollies this? Oh, yes, but no. That's that that looks that looks bad actually. That that does not look good. Pick her up. Okay. Teleporter here. And then Yeah, it's really deceptive. Like the outline of it is halfway along this tile. Yes, we could go with that. No, I don't like that. Uh, I guess this will have to do. Cringe. What happens if I put like some spaceship floor behind it? I don't think it's going to look the way I want it to look. Alright, let's just say space elevate four. Uh, and we can now traverse all the way from... What the... Why do I have no jetpack? You're joking. I'm stuck here now? Oh no. What? What happened to my jetpack fuel? Um. Um. Ride the elevator. Nope. R ride the elevator. Oh, it's still repairing. I thought. I didn't realize the bot was still here. I thought it was like out of repair packs or something. I hope we didn't break a train or something. I don't think so. Um, how am I going to get out of this one? Oh, 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 oh. No, I don't think this is working. I don't think I can... Not standing on teleporter. Hmm. So my options are get a train to bring this over, and maybe I can reach it here. I think I can reach it here. That's going to be super awkward. Let's try. Borrow this little guy. Wait for... 
I don't know, item count. Wait, don't go there yet. Small rocket fuel greater than 30. And then, what do you mean no path? Oh my god. Okay. Park here arbitrarily. And hopefully we can reach the solid rocket fuel. Eagle Wolf, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. All right, here's our SRF. Fantastic. Can I back this up? Or is it, like, going to be pulled into the... Oh. Backward was forward. Uh, and now forward is... What? Wait. And now I can't tell what's going on. Uh, how about you just park over here and that should pull the rest of the train through. Okay. Stop. Uh, go down the elevator. And then just delete that part of the schedule. Alright, that should sort itself out. Um, I kind of wish I didn't have the track that I have to cross over for this, but we can get from the downstairs mall to the elevator. I have to wait for it to recharge. Fine. Fine. Be that way. Cthulhu-esque symmetry. How are we doing for modules right now? We've got, ooh, 28 prods waiting for us and 35 speeds at tier 9. Nothing in the mall just yet. Okay, so we can go from the downstairs mall to the elevator, uh, to the elevator, to a teleporter, to the upstairs mall, just like that. A little bit faster, even though it's a bit more fiddly than going via train. What stuff is in the downstairs mall that isn't upstairs or vice versa? Oh, off the top of my head, I'm not sure, but some miscellaneous stuff that's not worth arranging automatic schedules for because it's so, it's so rare that we need to move them. Like stuff that's only produced at a mall, uh, or that we and or that we just only ever produce like twenty of for the whole playthrough, or something like that. Should I add any more teleporters? Where would I want to go? The uh, arcospheres. I want to completely redo the arcospheres anyway, because we need to figure out how to fit several machines together for some of these. I don't. I think tier 9 modules gets these up to 3 per second. Uh, we need 10 times the speed we've got here. 9 to 10 times. Um, Tesseracts in particular are a pretty nasty bottleneck. Might want to go to some spaceship launching places. I mean, they're all right at the mall. There's our victory ship right there. Like some kind of weird, overweight jellyfish. Okay, so we finally got this mess sorted out. Um, can we please... get... this iron and copper out of here. Iron... Copper, uh, raw rare metals. Okay. And then this is supposed to be here. 
Maybe I should put some point defenses on this ship. How many point defenses do you need to be pretty safe? Can shoot up to four meteors. Must be loaded. Range of 64. How much is that? Not that much. It's not enough to cover our array of... Uh, our array of launches. But it's enough to cover the ship before we... Before and after we build those things. Uh, has two charging modes... 50% accuracy, but four shots. So if we've got like six meteors aimed at us, 50%, uh, why, why can't I get rid of it? Shoo. Let's say we keep getting unlucky. Uh, how many times before it's really, really likely that we've shot down six meteors? Why can't I remember how to calculate this compound probability? It was... I remember it was easy with the, uh... With the big ones. I think I'm looking at it the wrong way. Let's just... Suppose we have four. Which is 20 shots. Okay, so the odds of... Uh, the odds of missing... Once is 50%. Twice is a quarter. Uh, an eighth and so on. But we need to think about... Yeah, so the odds of missing all of them is 2 to the 20th, which is insane. Uh, but how do you calculate the odds of, like, hitting the second one? Or the sixth, for that matter. Failure chance uh, to the power of number of failures? If it's 50%, then it's the same chance anyway. Victory ship looks like a hoof print of a cow or something, indeed. Well, okay, I think a better question as well is how many of these can we comfortably squeeze in? And also, how much of a pain is it to make the ammo? Coal and steel, we could probably just make that at the mall. Um, we can fit one, two... Uh, it's pretty awkward, but like three, four of these? I don't wanna. I, I think I'll just live with the severe improbability that we might just lose some Arcospheres. Why have we not taken these away yet? I don't think we do have something fully automated uh, to deliver the Arcospheres, come to think of it. Are they coming? Yeah, they come. How many did we get? 23. We lost about half of them because the bots uh, spread the Arcospheres across these two containers pretty much evenly. Sad. Let's go. Actually, I can just program this thing to drop them off. Oops. Uh, please deliver to Arcospheres. Wait till empty, come back to the mall, and reactivate this. Okay. Knoised, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Should we research something? Have we got all the packs now? We do, since I fixed that Astro mistake. It looks like it wasn't that difficult to catch up with it. Um, I think I want to change the provide threshold. 
Because I noticed earlier this was like st one stack. We want to be a bit more... A bit more aggressive with these now. Or rather... We, we want the train to come when there's 50 stacks, not one. And what seems to be the problem now? We've already got 14k of these. Shouldn't we be... Did I unlimit this? Is it supposed to be... This one. Oh, I see. This is outputting... Wait, no. That goes straight to there, this goes here. How, How are we still... What? Did I not... Is that not up to date? How are we controlling these? Negative numbers for how many we want. Uh, and if this is less than or equal to zero, we can output it. And then 50% goes to... Oh, I thought... I thought we were trying to, like, balance how much is in storage for each of these. Uh, we are. Wait, shouldn't that mean... Yeah, if this is at 10k, that belt is stopped. And direct insertion only. So, why isn't that happening over here? If Deep Space Pack 2... Oh, I see what happened. Deep Space Pack 2. I copied it from that system, but I forgot to change these icons. So now we've got like... 14,000 Pack 2s... 10k Pack 1s... Almost no 3s and not very many 4s. Okay. And what, what are we missing here, by the way? Scaffolds. The scaffolds on the way right now, apparently. But something seems to be wrong here. Why are you... How are you sitting on only... A train load minus 10 scaffold here? You're stopped at the train stop. What? The loaders are greedier, so they can't get into the train? You're joking. Bruh. Nope. What the fa la la la? That is so dumb. But, but this time it's all going into the loader. Uh, into the bulk rail loader, not this loader. What? 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 Is it like a weird timing issue? That is so strange. What am I going to do about this? What am I going to do about how rapidly I'm running out of my drink because it's so hot today? X-Man, welcome in. I don't understand why that worked and the last train didn't. That's bizarre. Uh, I don't want to put inserters there. Might have to. Hmm. 
Maybe I should have just used one big container that can put... that can insert into both wagons. I'm not a fan of that approach. I really don't want to... Ugh. I really don't want to replace that with inserters. And I can't do any circuit smarts here because we need green wire and red wire touching both of these already. So the solution has to be purely a physical one. I don't know if slower belts would help. We can only go down to 45 per second anyway. But maybe? Maybe 45 per second is slow enough that the loader, the bulk rail loaders can always grab them and put them in the train. I can't put like a yellow belt here. I can't read from one container but not the other one. And I'm not about to make, like, a timer or something to just push a few items forward and then stop and repeat. I really don't know what to do about this. already have red on both can you use that circuit well no because we, we can't compare them or check what's in one container but not the other since they both have this both color wires going to both sides grill grim welcome in could use smarts if you isolate the green with a greater than combinator uh what do you mean isolate the green we can't We've got green wire touching all of these because we need to know what's up here to tell LTN downstairs. And we've got red wire touching both of these because LTN upstairs need to, needs to know what we've got. Without it cross-contaminating across these... I, I, I could, like... Attach one color wire to all of these, and then I'd have to like put in negative numbers to show that this station does not have scaffolding or bulkhead or testing packs. But I really don't want to add that much of a chore or complexity to configuring, uh, configuring the block when we make one of these. Oh, here we go again. Also, how the hell did it get, like, literally 99% full before it decided, oh, um, we can't actually keep doing this. It's slow enough with the deep space belts doing this as well. Because all of this is on the left. Because if we ever have short trains taking from here, sometimes short trains... Uh, sometimes we're taking from this container and sometimes from both of them, but never this one. So it always ends up being empty on this side, with like 100 stacks on this side. I don't want to, like, push everything through the back and then to the front and limit the front like we've done before. Because I want to have plenty of uh, storage space. Maybe I should. 
It would mean we're bottlenecking on one belt each to go from here to here as well. Because there isn't really room to do otherwise. Unless I just kept these as well. Limit the front to 50 stacks. Don't take from the front to the back. Take from the back to the front. Unfiltered belting from the front to the back here. I don't love it, but it would work. It's LTN, indeed. If greater than train limit one, put it aside between the stations and loaders with, if greater than train limit equals one. I'm not following the purpose of that. All right, let's ride over there with the construction train and play around with this a bit. Uh, I can't really park between them in this instance. Let's park down here. I'm going to have to pace myself until it cools down a bit. It really is quite difficult to think. Maybe I should do something a bit easier at first. Okay. So the idea is unfiltered front to back. We'll, we'll just leave these where they are. Limit the front to 50 stacks. And push from the back to the front, always, not in a circle. And it can go straight from here down to here as well, and we've got only one belt going from the front to the back. That should be fine. I just hope we're not running out of storage space. Then again, like, for the stuff that is higher throughput, we've been splitting it across multiple schedules. Uh, so it's not like we're trying to cram six train loads of stuff in here. Yeah, we can still fit, uh, like, 370 stacks, not counting any leftover up here. Uh, that is almost four train loads. So theoretic theoretically, if we've only got one train doing the schedule and we request, uh, like three train loads here, uh, it should never flow back to here. How's the chemistry recipes in K2SE? Uh, complicated. The spaceport, uh, spaceport with all the designs is pretty cool. Thank you. Morning, Ian Noah. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, let's do this over here. It's actually a pretty simple operation. Uh, and that goes this way. Uh, so same deal, we're going to limit the front wagon to 50 stacks, and then make sure all of these face forward. Should 
Should probably use the nav set for that. No risk of dying. It's a little bit confusing because the frequency of the deep belts uh, makes it look like they're going the opposite direction. But that should be it. And as soon as we see that all of them are still, it does seem like it's working. Okay, I guess I can live with that. We are losing like 40% of our storage space in the bulk rail loaders with this. Is the only problem. Okay. Copy that. Didn't accidentally copy some filters here, did I? No, I don't think so. What is this supposed to be? Oh, we haven't filled it out yet. Wait, why are there no cables here yet? Did we get interrupted? Yeah, I don't think we did finish this part. Why is there heat shield in here? That is a lot of heat shield. Heat shield is supposed to go up here. I think I may have scheduled this wrong. I'm telling a train to move the stuff back this way. Okay. Oh, also... Some of that might have been unnecessary, actually. Because uh, we only need to do this if it's a resource that the short trains pick up. Whatever, I'll leave it like that for that block. Um, we need to move this heat shielding regardless. Let's limit these ones. And put this over here. And I forgot to do this. So it's already going to be imbalanced. Why is this... Oh, right. Yeah, well, we should get rid of the limits now. Okay. That is going to take its sweet time draining out. Is this going to be full? I don't think so. Let's just pick these up. My inventory is looking a bit sad right now. But that's going to take too many trips. Is this balanced? It should be. So that should sort itself out. Okay. So we're not going to give this block the same treatment. We're just going to stick to things that short trains might pick up. Which is probably not sand. Whatever. For the sake of uniformity and for testing, we'll leave it like that for now. Um, so we still need to do Holmium Cable and Holmium Solenoid. Uh, what else did I want to put in this half block? Bryonite Vulcanite? We've got four to go. Coal, stone, plastic, sulfur? Didn't we already move these? Yeah, we did, the purple things. Okay, cool. So those are done. And I think these... Oh. I was going to say, I think these trains have finished moving stuff. Did I steal this train? No, I think we must have gotten interrupted. Okay. Please tell me this isn't already filled up. It's not. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get this finished before we get interrupted again. Which train was that? Here we go. Please delete schedule. Uh, drop off over here. Wait till empty. 
pick up... Did I already name those stations? No. Good. Uh, pick up from... Is it this one? It is not. No. Where the heck was it? It was this one. Wait till full, or inactivity and item count greater than zero. So we'll bring the last little dregs as well, and then not cycle forever. Okay, so then we really will be done draining out the old system of site things. Uh, and then, have we actually done a schedule? These three are just, uh, these four are just the ones moving the old stuff. But do we have a train downstairs waiting for this stuff? Immersite, etc. I think it's supposed to be here. It is, we just haven't switched this on yet. Cool, cool, cool. What's not, not complicated in K2SE? Uh, biters. Biters are uncomplicated fellows. They see engineer, they eat engineer. Except by the friendo who uncomplicatedly doesn't want to move. That's not true. He, he, he wants to move to the same spot all the time, no matter what. And just sit there. Watch. Uh, has he got himself stuck in a loop now? He's getting his daily exercise. Treadmill? <laughs> Wait, whom what? It's a biter friendo. What do you mean? See? Friend. And we gave him some Arcospheres. How are the Arcospheres... What? Remember when we put the Arcospheres on the belt with an inserter and they were perfectly spaced? How did this happen? Bruh. By the friendo getting his exercise in? Exactly. Okay, how many more trips do we need to move this stuff? Several? Like two or three. Not including this one. And we've got the old white belt filling up the front wagon. That's probably the bottleneck. Um, but yeah, I think we already have a schedule for this one. We do. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. So that means we literally just need to finish emptying out those old gears. Uh, rebalance them with, uh, even distro. And put it online. And put some tags down here. So it was crystal. Wait, what order was it in? Crystal plate gear. Crystal plate. Gear. And whatever's left, beam. Oops. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, it's complaining that we haven't... No, it's complaining the inserter hasn't swung. It doesn't know that we do have resources. Let's research something. 
How about... It's only 49,000 for mining productivity. Only. Then again, we're pouring Vitamelange into productivity modules right now. Let's put that off a little bit. How about robot speed? That sounds like a good idea. All of the robot speed forever, please. Womp, 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 womp. Fantastic. I should fill this out. Uh, fill this out with uh, speed modules now, or at least get it to three per three per second. Okay. Um, so what led me to focusing on that is I'm trying to see what else we should fill this half block with. I want to put cryonite and vulcanite together because they're kind of like equal and opposite. I want to put these two together, which we're doing. I guess we could do these two gears down here. And that just leaves... Uh, how about... Plastic and sulfur, I suppose. And we should do what we've been doing and just double check that it actually makes sense to bring all of these things up the space elevator. Not just trust our former... That loader looks a bit different. Hmm. But that's the loaders that you could cheat in in vanilla. Not sure how it got into FNEI. Uh, anyway, what are we using these for upstairs? Iron gears. Probably just mole stuff. Well, I guess we can leave... We, we probably use them in not insignificant quantities in the mole. Yeah. We can, we can still bring them up the space elevator. We're not using them here, are we? No. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, and I'll say the same thing for steel gear. Plastic? No doubt. Space pipe. And... Uh, it goes directly into electrical shielding data. Sulfur. Goes into... Uh, thermofluid. Good to know. Or rediscover. Anyway, let's say we're going to put gears and gears. Uh, plastic and sulfur sort of go together oil products. Please let me put this right here. Please. Can, can you not? Why is it so inconsistent? Placing tags. There we go. Uh, sulfur over here, please. And last but not least, granite and vulcanite. That looks tacky. Vulcanite block, to be precise. Okay. Uh, so we should be getting close to moving the last of the Emosium gear wheels. In fact, we've finished. Beautiful. Let me just go fly over there and rebalance that stuff. That's the vanilla loader? Yes, indeed. Okay, you are just about done draining out. Uh, let's grab the cryonite train. And... Uh, I 
again, it'll be easier if we do this before naming these stations. So this is going to be chromium cable, iron gear, plastic. Yeah, plastic, and what was the other thing? Crinite rod. Right. Therefore, wait, what? Uh, what? Where's our crinite train? Oh no, we can search for it. Storage, cryonite. There you are. Cryonite provider. Cryonite provider. Provider cryonite. I see what you did there. Okay. And drop off over here. Wait till empty. Cryonite rod greater than zero. That'll do. Uh, and then we need some filters here. So cryonite's going to go down this way, which means the outer filter is for cryonite. Hello? Why is this blocked off? Who would do such a thing? Not this guy. Okay. And then Vulcanite. This time the station name's the correct way around. Uh, go here, wait for full or inactivity and items. And then drop off. I need to put a station name to this one. Solenoid, steel gear, sulfur, vulcanite. Sulfur. And Vulcanite. Alright, where was that train? Uh... There we go. Why doesn't this work? I guess I'll do it this way. That isn't sorted. The way I would like. Uh, this'll do. Nope, can't do it that way either. How about if we click from over here? Fantastic. Got there eventually. Or I could have shift-clicked over this way. Go there, wait till empty. Cool. Khajiit is innocent of this crime? Good to know, good to know. Alright, rebalance that. Wait, what? Okay. And I think we're ready to activate LTN for these. So that's Imosite Crystals, able to go back up the elevator now since we moved it over to the new stuff. And we've got loads of them. Fantastic. That was fast. Already a train picking up these ones. To take it up the elevator. Or at least drop off to take it up the elevator. Uh, and we need to give names to these. Well, we don't strictly need to, because it is LTN. Um, but it might help us make sense of things.
plate. And crystal. Crystal. Cool, cool, cool. So that's actually done now. Not pretending to be done. There's our vulcanite blocks. And apparently I forgot that I put this here. Okay, so I'll immediately have to go rebalance those, because I don't think we're picking those up with short trains. That's not Vulcanite. Wait, what? What? Okay. Now then. Vulcanite is going way down the bottom here. So... Vulcanite block and Vulcanite block. Fantastic. Now we need to do... We're going to copy this whole train stop name to use as a channel name. We're going to put... Where the heck... Have I... I don't think I've built the downstairs equivalent for this one yet. Uh... But we don't need to, but I like to keep all of these, like... The 16 items that we're bringing up in this block, I like to keep them all together in one block downstairs. Just easier to manage. Uh, I don't think I've built a block corresponding to this one yet. I guess I could search for signal receivers. And the ones that are grouped by four. Actually, it's only showing them as twos. But a two, a set of two means that we're not looking at a spaceship drop-off, so that helps. Okay, these ones are already taken. Uh, these ones are already taken. Oh, here it is. Yeah, no, because we did already do the Naquium crystals and stuff. So it's here. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so this one right here is going to be the Vulcanite blocks, etc. Uh, and we want to steal these four hieroglyphics for the train stop names. And that's our naming convention. Now we just need to do requests for solenoids, gear, sulfur, vulcanite blocks. And vulcanite block. Just a couple of train loads each. Should be fine. So 200 stacks. And we're not going to switch that on until we're finished moving things from the old system. Uh, and I guess we'll finish all of these before we continue with, like, the other stuff here. Um, so that just leaves solenoids, gear, and sulfur. Sulfur goes here. Wait till empty. Wait till full or last of the dregs. And then we need steel gear and solenoid. 
Wait, what? There's a station that I forgot to name. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a train with that schedule. With that station in the schedule. Um, I think it's this one over here. Yeah, several of these I haven't named yet. Did we get all of this working already? I think we did. Pretty sure. Well, I'll just leave that for the moment. Uh, meanwhile, we've got Sulfur is the third last one. Or the second last one, rather. Uh, Solenoid is close by. And the other one was Steel Gear. Okay. Uh, so we've got Solenoid and Steel Gear that we still need to move. Solenoid. Wait till empty, wait till full, or this. Uh. That'll do. And steel gear. Steel gear over here. Civil play. Okay. That should get all that stuff moved over from the old system. Uh, the stack size 200 stuff is going to take a little bit longer. And then we can get rid of three more trains. Fluttering up the old system. Look at how barren uh, some of these train stops are now. The depots for the vanilla scheduled trains. Yeah, we really did need... With the old version, we needed way more trains than were strictly necessary. Chromium cables go here, right? Let's do that now. Since we're eyeballing it already. Activate steel gear train. Uh, did I forget to do that? Yes, indeed. Thank you. And also, hello, hello, D Hose. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Sorry, I'm late to the party. What are you refactoring now? What was the problem with the old system you're trying to solve? Uh, so basically, the old system had at least one train for each resource that we were bringing up the space elevator. Um, because, what the f... Oh, you probably were full already. Um, we didn't install the mod that makes LTN deal with the space elevators. Uh, we invented our own way around it. So basically, we've got uh, LTN to vanilla schedule to up this space elevator to LTN. Or vice versa. And the old system has at least one train for every single resource that we bring up this way. Which, uh, in SpaceX, ends up being quite a lot of trains. Uh, and for most resources, we really don't need that much throughput for stuff that's coming up the space elevator. Uh, and for the ones that do, we're spreading them out across multiple schedules. Uh, so we may only end up having one train still to do each of these schedules, like barrel things and testing packs, trains, ammo, explosive and testing packs, concrete, sand, glass and testing packs. We can do multiple trains for one of these schedules, but uh, yeah, for, for the high throughput stuff, we're 
uh, items. We're definitely spreading them across multiples. Um, but yeah. I could do an even more dense version of this, where, like, n number of resources go through one vanilla train schedule, uh, and we do it with bot loading. But it's tricky to do bot loading quickly but precisely. Um, and there's definitely, like, a speed penalty to it, no matter how much you tweak it. All right, so this goes here. Able. So what we've got downstairs is a bunch of... We've got a receiver dish that's telling us what we've got upstairs, connected to an LTN request a train stop, uh, and a bunch of requests for those resources. That gets dropped off here, goes straight into... Uh, if this vanilla scheduled train is waiting, then it just goes straight into that. Uh, otherwise, it's waiting in the bulk rail loader here for the next... for the next lap. Cool, clever, always nice to consolidate. Indeed, indeed. Uh, welcome in, by the way, Zealots. Is this train okay? Apparently there's no train stop with that name. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Wait till full or inactivity and item count. Cool, cool, cool. Did I do all these filters? I did not. So we need gear, plastic. Uh, plastic. Copy, paste, flip. And that'll go down here. Nice. Okay, we're done. We're not done moving the cables. We're not done moving solenoids. We're not done moving the gears. You'd think when you see three trains just chilling here that one of them is finished, but no. Not the case. Uh, and let's get the plastic train. Oops. To do its thing as well. Plastic over here, please. Cool, cool, cool. Now then. So this is going to be done, 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 and this is going to be done. And these two. Nice. So that just leaves, uh, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Really? I think we're down to six solid items that we still bring up the space elevator that aren't in the new system now. Fantastic. Very cool. I might make uh, a couple more train schedules that have testing packs in them. In that case, to make it comfortably fit a half block. I've done bot loading with my cargo rockets, but you need to manage the filters based on the number of inverters. Handle the fractional amounts, deal with any overflow. Lots of fun, but everything has a cost in terms of complexity or efficiency. Yes. And that's kind of what makes it fun. Uh, and, and it's an intrinsic, uh, you know, it's not an arbitrary game design decision. It's just how it is. It's emergent from the physics of the whole thing. Um, all right. What are we doing? I need to... 
I already scheduled the station name, but scheduled. I already made the station name over here. We need to do this channel name as well. We need to look downstairs. I think I already named this one. And I already made the... Yeah, I've configured this except for switching this on. Cool, cool, cool. We haven't done a train schedule for this one yet, though. So this is going to be Bryanite, etc. Uh, and we're going to borrow these four symbols. Cable, gear, plastic, Bryanite. Cable, gear, plastic, and cryonite. Uh, and this little circuit, if you're wondering, is just saying if we're not receiving signal transmitter 1 from upstairs, like if, if it's not transmitting because of power or something, we're not going to request any deliveries. Uh, so once again, we're going to do 200 stacks. For each of these. And we'll bump them up if it turns out any of these need to go faster later on. Uh, and maybe add like another train to that schedule. The schedule, by the way, is just down the elevator, depot, come pick this up. Up the elevator, depot, go drop it off. You could definitely argue that one of those depot stops is unnecessary. But we don't want any shenanigans with the trains hesitating at the elevator. Uh, if another train is going here or something. The dead man signal, indeed. Learned that the hard way? Yeah. Learn it the hard way with delivery cannons, perhaps? Okay. Um... So are we done moving these things? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Where am I looking? Maybe I shouldn't have deleted those uh, icons yet. There's a little bit of Vulcanite here still. Oh, I had alt mode off. That doesn't help. Uh, Holmanoid? Holmanoid? Holmanoid Cabuliums uh, still need to be moved, though we're down to less than a train load. Steel gears are still being moved. I don't know if we've told iron gears to move. Let's do that. Iron gears drop off. Over here. That might be a good idea. Alright. Uh, let's give that a little bit of time. And add ourselves a little note. Uh, waiting for trains to empty. Hold. That'll do. And then we're nearing the end of having to patch all these things over. We've already patched everything that goes down the space elevator over. That's nice. Um, I don't think I've done uranium and concrete, actually. I think we decided... Did we decide we don't need to bring up refined concrete? Space elevator. I mean, it's a little bit convenient if we can auto-craft space elevators here. We're not really making any new outposts anymore, though. We've got five lying around. Whatever. We can pr probably just squeeze that in somewhere. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Didn't we have six before? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we've got exactly half a block. 
of different items left to patch into the new system. Looking forward to have uh, looking forward to seeing the back of that. And I keep looking at maybe redoing how we're doing uh, ingots up the elevator. Like maybe we could do the same thing but better here. But I really do want one giant space manufactory uh, to convert ingots to plate. And I haven't come up with a layout that would effectively save us any space here. Like maybe... Maybe we could make six of these fit in one block as opposed to four, but is that really worth the trouble? I think that's highly questionable. I think we could probably just stick with this design indefinitely, albeit with some updated belts or something. Uh, and just... Yeah, having at least one train to bring up ingots of each type. I'm not overly concerned by that. That seems okay to me. It's only like six types of ingots anyway. Okay. What should we do while that cooks? How many modules do we have to play with? 31 prods? Nice, nice. Uh, what are we waiting for? The bottleneck has shifted, perhaps, to lattice pressure... Uh, presser... Presser? Lattice pressure vessels. Uh, which we're making over here. And we're missing aeroframe bulkheads. Uh, which we are already bringing up the space elevator with this system. Did we forget to configure something? Or are we materially short? Aeroframe bulkhead. Aeroframe bulkhead tag. Uh, this is where we're making it. We're short on beryllium, really. Now there's a name I've not heard in a long time. Uh, we do have a giant barrel planet right next door, so we could probably just expand that. And yeah, I think this part is probably working just fine. No beryllium. Our barrel core fragments are saturated. Uh, maybe we need more processing or something. There's a million barrel ingots here. Oh, I see what we're doing. Half the ingots go directly to plate, and half of them go until this is saturated. Okay. So we're short on molten... Beryllium? What? What is this? Well, that was only two machines, potentially. It looks like the rest of them... No, that one's rotated wrong as well. Let's make sure these are all rotated properly. Uh, so several of these were inactive. For no real reason. Although, based on how full the molten beryllium isn't, uh, I'm not sure how important that bottleneck is at the moment. We don't have beryllium powder here. Because why? We've got like infinite beryllium out of here. What the hell? What the hell? Maybe we should direct belt it. How much are we asking for? 
15k, which is like 1.5 train loads. Um, I don't think we go through it that fast, do we? 435 per second for the whole block. Or to put it another way, 217, which is a bit more than two stacks per second for each half block. And one train stop for each of them. I mean, it's right next door. I should probably just direct belt it. But still, I don't understand... I don't understand how beryllium powder is short here. Wait, how much is needed? We're, we're, putting, we're pushing it all through one belt. And we need 217 per second. Uh, and a belt does 90 per second. Hmm. I wonder if that could be a problem. I wonder if this was not built for tier 9 modules. 90 out of 217? Hmm, indeed. Uh, I know we haven't upgraded this in a while, but that's a little bit embarrassing. I guess I just built it for lower tiers or something and then just threw modules at it because I was in a hurry at some point. So, presumably, that's 4.3 stacks per second with tier 6 modules. Uh, I'm thinking we should refactor this so that maybe we direct belt like in the one block we, we drop off beryllium hydroxide and pyroflux yeah like no solids even the trains can drop these off super fast two fluids in one fluid out which we're not even going to get the trains to carry the fluids out either because we're going to direct pump that in here. Maybe I'll build it up here so that we don't have to like juggle around. We can just switch off the drop-offs for the old system here. What are we dropping off here? Beryllium hydroxide. And over here we drop off the actual barrel. That gets consumed at a rate of 262 per second is like five stacks. Um, water is a byproduct. These are both byproducts. So it's barrel sulfur in. Oh, and cryonite rod in. Barrel sulfur and cryonite rod makes beryllium hydroxide with two byproducts. Solid solid fluid makes this. Fluid fluid makes this if we merge these together. So... Two solids, two fluids. These have water as a byproduct in common as well. So that can be merged. Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll re-examine barrel from scratch. Some of the machines aren't working, no doubt. Which ones? Why? This one's output bottlenecked. Do you mean some of these? We know they're not working because we're belt bottlenecked on the input. Okay. Yeah, I think I want to upgrade to tier 9. Yeah, no. We're going to redo barrel all the way from barrel itself to... Well, I'm happy with... I'm very happy with the uh, the ingot layout that's built for tier 9 modules. Um, but everything leading up to molten beryllium, uh, maybe we can 
put that in like one block here, or put them in two blocks and just direct belt across. Considering it's already squeezed into two blocks. I don't know, this furnace layout is kind of good though, kind of gnarly. We can def we definitely have room to find more... Uh, we can find more room for belts. Alright, let's, let's have a look. But first I want to go back to... Back to the mall. Did I leave a train sitting around here? I did. Grey Squirrel Refactor? Indeed, indeed. Okay. Uh, I never did uh, demonstrate how quickly we can go from mall to mall because we had to wait for the recharge. Oh well. Let me just sit on my throne here. Okay. So... I'm pretty sure in the blueprints somewhere I've got... Tier 9... Ingot. Tier 9 Beryllium Ingot, that's what this build is. Uh, and we're going to need to get rid of some of the floor here. So that we can place spaceship floor. Tier 9 Beryllium Ingot. Is that... Yeah. Though I have my doubts about the uh, shape of the pipes here. I think, didn't we end up like... I think it was because we were direct pumping. Yeah, 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 that we added all these extra pipes over here. That's We can probably deal with that. Okay. If, if we start with this as a basis to compare our ratios, don't need this anymore. Uh, that's not tier 9 though. I imagine it's going to be rather difficult actually. To support the most we could fit here with tier 9s with belts. And I'm not sure that we're going to need that many machines to support what we've got to the south. But we're going to find out. Oh, and this should be a beacon too. Electric boogaloo. And five prods means we need seven. If we want it to cost double power, crafting speed 40, or we can go crafting speed 36 for only 400 kilowatts. Uh, and if we do do that, we're looking at 11.5 thousand... Molten beryllium per second. Damn. This is all speed 9'd up. I doubt these need to be speed 9. Uh, but what are we getting out of this? Or what do we need? 10.08k 10 10 per second. Do do. So JMO, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, Petri Cottontail, welcome in, by the way. Uh, yeah, so... Molten Beryllium is going to be very positive with this. So maybe we've got room to do some other stuff in the same block. It, wait, it's not that positive. It's like plus 10%. Or plus 14%. Hmm. How many machines do I need? 
if we're going to keep up with this indefinitely, which probably won't be necessary. Um, 10.08k requires exactly 42 machines. Hmm. I hope I'm not going to end up redesigning whereby I put these right next to each other. With the amount of fluid getting moved, maybe that makes a ton of sense. Uh, but they're going to be under different beacons. This really needs nine efficiencies, really? I guess the speed eats up more power. Yeah, it does, unless we want to play pay one megawatt for each of these. And then it would be harder to keep up with uh, these machines. But if we're going to put them right next to each other, they're going to be under the same beacon, which is not going to be as efficient. Unless we position them rather awkwardly. Yeah, no. I think we'll just stick with this layout. It's so much less work refactoring it as well. It does mean that we need to push uh, two and a half thousand fluid per second for each column. But I don't think that's going to be too, too difficult with a bunch of pumps and stuff. Okay, so how many machines is this? 48. And it takes 42 for literally a perfect ratio. But it's going to be so hard to lay out 42 of these, though. Also, if we do need 42 of these machines, I don't see how we're going to do uh, the previous steps in the same block. We could probably put, like, these two together in one block, though, I'm pretty sure. So we probably just do something very much like this, but trimmed down a little bit. Uh, and we should not have too much trouble making the belts work. Uh, do that right up here. And then probably like here is going to be all of this. It's going to be a little, a little bit less modular, a little bit more direct insert. Okay, let's get rid of all that. Why are you... Okay. I wish it was easy to replace this checker pattern. But it's not. So I'm just going to make this big, great, ugly, flat thing here. And we'll put down another rail block. Not like that. Put down some black concrete. And we'll start with our extant block as a template. Why isn't it? No, that's fine. Uh, one sec. It's 10.008, not 10.08? Okay, fair enough. I don't suppose there's a neat way to do 42 of the... No, it's not divisible by 4. It is divisible by 2. Something like this, perhaps. And we want... 
We're going to get rid of the fluid drop-offs for LTM. I'm pretty sure there's only thing one thing molten beryllium goes into. Yep. So we're going to simplify this a bit. Uh, we're not going to need that to look like that. What's the solid dropped off here? Sand. That's going to stay the same. And get rid of all of these pipes. I'm pretty sure we don't need... Whoops. Speed 9 modules to keep up with this, right? Actually, we kind of do. If it's saturated on the ingot output and we need plate, we kind of do need that. Messed up? What's messed up? Oh, this? Uh... I think I have a solution. There we go. And... Hmm. I kind of wanted to have... Inline pumps... It's 2.5k fluid per second for each side. I kind of wanted to do something like this, but then... Oh, uh, we could still do that. Actually, no, that... Well... Okay, can we still do, like, 2.5k per second if there's a whole four pieces of pipe between each of these? I imagine the answer is yes. Uh, let's put a source over here. Or over here somewhere, I guess. Uh, beryllium molten. And delete it over here. And it's pushing 2.38k per second. Why is this one faster than this one? 2.343. 2.385k per second. That's a little strange, isn't it? Well, in any case, is it enough for three of these? Uh, should be. Yeah, way more than enough, actually. We only need 1.25 if we do, like, this... If we split it into quarters. Saturation, indeed. So... If that goes over here. Don't need these in the middle. That's kind of weird. And we're going to have something like this, I suppose. Uh, and then the mirror image of this on the other side. And then we need to pump here. Here, here, and here. Uh, and we'll see... Two of those actually line up very conveniently. Wow. If those were also outputs, this would line up magnificently well. It's not going to work like that, though. So we need like 1.26 thousand for each pipe. That should be pretty easy with steel pumps. Uh, and since we're not doing train outputs down here, let's get rid of the old power poles and stuff. Uh, we can actually push all of this down a bit further. There's no byproducts here, just barrel. And 
Do we want to have some storage tanks anyway? I don't see the harm in it. It's like... k each tank represents like 20 seconds of continuously making ingots uh, which comes out to about 386 ingots they stack to what again 50 100 per barrel that's a lot Still, uh, it might be convenient just for the layout of it to have some huge storage tanks down here anyway. Um, and how much input does this need? Oh, that still has tier 6 modules. So something a little bit like this. That should be 42. That's 44. Wait, what? 22. Uh... I guess maybe that for the sake of looking kind of neat let's ditch these belts entirely and start from scratch oh I don't have a decon planner for them um, do I have a decon planner for the inserters yes I do Maybe we'll end up doing more or less the same thing. But I don't want to leave behind accidental clutter. Also, don't need these old pipes. Get out of here. That's also going to confuse me as we try to redo this. Six rows of seven is the only way to make it symmetrical. Uh, true. We probably have room for that now. Wait, wait, wait. But three rows on each side is kind of awkward. Hmm. Six rows of seven. So something like that. 21. Uh, and how about a beacon 2 with the appropriate number of modules? 7 or 8. Okay, so that should be exactly... That is not exactly. What? 5.04k per second. 4.3... How did I end up saying that we needed 42 of these? 1.08k per second. 1.08k per second. We, we're doing 8 efficiencies. Yes? Is this not all powered? It is. Oh, did I not prod 9 all of these? No? Does the beacon reach the bottom th Well, there's your problem. Yeah, that's why we're not doing that. Okay. Good talk. So, if we're limited to columns of 6... Uh... 6, 4 is a 24... Yeah, no, it's just going to have to be like 24 minus something. 
well, minus three, obviously. Because we can't do five times more than four. Beacon range, indeed. My old nemesis. I could do 22 on each side, just to make sure we have a surplus. Uh, that'll make it easier for the fluid to always be fast. And it's only like a couple more, couple more machines. And we could not quite make that symmetrical. But... Could make it look kind of neat. That's kind of cool. Although the way the pipes are going to line up here is probably going to be a bit naff. Also, since we're pushing 2.6k per second through here, uh, I don't like it. Yeah, no, I, I do not. Not a fan. I do not, not a fan. So we can make all of these sevens and just put a couple of pipes here. And maybe one pump here. I don't know if that's going to be enough for 1.26k per second. I imagine it would. Probably. Should we have some fluid storage? Or is this fine, actually? I guess we'll just try it and see what happens. And then that would need to go there. These also need some stuff. So each side here actually has to do 2.6k per second. Uh, I guess I could... Hmm... I was going to say, I guess I could, like, pump this around here and down this way, instead of, like, forking it over here. Going to make it awkward to get the pyroflux. The pyroflux doesn't have to be fast, though. Doesn't that pump need to be split? Yeah. Maybe we do push it to some big storages. They're not even going to line up conveniently. I do think I'd much rather have it um, just piped directly. I can't exactly flip the middle uh, the middle ones around, or like the top set. I guess technically I can flip the top set. Uh, where's that gonna go? Never mind. Never mind. So maybe we'll need, like, another pump over here or something. And I guess... I guess we really do split this, like so. We'll use some steel pipes over here. So maybe like that. Is there any merit to moving these further down? We just need sand and pyroflux. We don't have pyroflux delivered like earlier in this process, do we? Nope. Okay. Oh, it's not sand, it's uh, beryllium powder. But I do want to direct belt that from a nearby block.
or maybe even okay we have gained a bunch of space but I'm still pretty skeptical that we can fit that much more oh come on one off really You really gotta do me like that? Okay. Let's say we put that there, for argument's sake. Or it'd probably be better if we... That's just a little bit short. Do it something like this. Except we also need it here. Okay. So that's about as close as that can be. If we're going to do it like that, we're going to have to have a belt coming down this way. Uh, I'm just going to do the thing where I use blue belt. So we can see what we're doing, unless we need some long undergrounds. And then we'll convert it to purple when we're done. Basically replacing the T section pipe with small storage. You can put a small storage after the pump. Uh, yeah, true. I guess. That's not going to be less uh, easy for the fluid to pump through, I imagine. And it gives us a handy reference as to whether we're saturated on a molten barrel. Alright, so all of these... What? How much sand does the longest column need? Uh, beryllium powder, 144 per second? Uh, that's more than a belt. That is not what I was expecting. Especially with prod nines. Okay, so... So what are we going to do here? We could do the old loader with undergrounds input. How much more than one belt is it? 144 is like 54. That's more than half a belt. So it's not like we could just uh, have a bunch of these splits. Like so. And then just pour two belts in up here and it's going to work out. That's not going to be good enough. Uh, we basically need one belt for each three, even though they're only, only 72 per second. So something... I'm gonna need some room for the pyroflux. Something like this. Uh, that sucks. I can stretch this out a little bit just so that the beacon doesn't take up that much room in the middle. But then again, uh, I'm pretty sure...
Oh, really? Hmm. I was going to say, since we only need one belt going down here. Oh. I guess we could do it like this. And use every available tile. So that's one belt to support these three. Uh, and then we do something similar down here. But... But we need to squeeze it around this. Uh, and the input would be kind of like that. There's only fluid output from these, luckily, so maybe we can make this happen. There's no input for this one. Uh, gross. Maybe I could make the pyroflux come in from both sides? I don't see how that helps. 72 times 3... 72 over 3 times 4 equals 96. It'd be a pain to feed, yeah. I can't really make it wider. Well, I really can't make it wider. I really do want to be able to support this block with one block, though. I guess we can forget the dream of... Uh, making powder, that's with advanced chemical plant. Beryllium powder, and then we need beryllium hydroxide, and for that we need beryllium sulfate. Uh, is this prod? This prods. With only four. I'm pretty sure we're not, like, putting another step in this process in this block. Because we need how much powder again? 528 per second. Uh, which would require... Let's see... With optimal modules. Oh. It's like two machines. I stand corrected, maybe? Five twenty eight powder per second. And this is three sixteen. Okay, uh maybe we do do one more step in this block. So uh, so we're dropping off pyroflux and beryllium hydroxide, or the beryllium hydroxide is probably pumped directly. Uh, but that said, I don't know, like I was thinking of moving this up a bit again so that we do some underground belts going all the way back here. So that, yeah, yeah, so that we could just like mirror this. Right? Like that. So if these are all purple... That can go... oh well. No, it's only just not long enough. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. What are we supposed to use? Harsh language? Sure. Indeed. Uh... Strongbox. Heat Rouse. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you, Ian Noah. Why have I not considered that? Space pipes? Space pipes. 
Yeah, so I was hoping to, like, skip from here to here, and then turn around and input to this. Oh no, that should still be okay. So we'll just do... I, I could even theoretically do it with blue belts. Yes, indeed. So that goes like that. And then we have brilliant powder coming in down this way. That should be fine, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so something like this. So let's flip that. Uh, can we support five of these with one belt? No. How am I going to squeeze it in on the sides? Might be a little bit more tricky. Well, first of all, we do need pipes. We don't have to uh, dance around a wide area beacon this time. So maybe this kind of pattern is more or less all we need. First three require 72. Uh, and we'll do the other two like this. That's easy enough. Just need to do it this way with the loader. Cool. That looks pretty cozy, actually. And very consistent with some of the other parts of the build. Hopefully our pylon doesn't get in the way. Otherwise I might have to get creative. It's in the way. We probably just have to move it like one tile. Or move the whole thing up. Or down one tile. Yeah, it's literally just one tile. Okay. I think in that case... We'll just transplant this upward a little bit. So here. And here. And that should still reach. Uh, and then we can still put the pylon in the usual neat place. And that's actually looking really, really good. Are those tier 9s? Yes, indeed. Okay, so we could actually like put this here or something. We need to deal with the water output though. Um, so we need beryllium powder here, 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 and here. We don't need full belts, but we do need this many belts. Um, I guess... The only way to be symmetrical with these 3x3 or 5x5 containers would be to have two of them. Well, or we could just directly pipe in the beryllium hydroxide. How fast does it eat the BH? Uh, we need how much? 264 per second. So, like 150 or something like that. It's really slow. And the water output isn't exactly fast either. We could do uh, the water byproduct pickup, where we do the vulcanite uh, drop off the pyroflux. I need to hydrate. Okay. 
Can you use Deep Space Belt? Yeah, but it's actually inferior to the purple. It's as good as the purple, except the purple underground reaches further. Okay, so let's make sure we've got room for the outputs. Probably put this over here. And I guess just do that like so. And that should actually be precisely symmetrical. Fantastic. Uh, that doesn't... Oh, yes it does. Okay, let's make these purples and see where they all reach. Upgrade planner... Blue to purple. Oops. And that's about what I thought. That should reach all the way down there. Uh, not sure where this needs to start. What the heck is this? Oh, the old build. So that goes to there, goes to there. That probably reaches, actually. I don't need unnecessary undergrounds to make that, like, more symmetrical. You can just put this here. A little bit more readable that way. And... yeah. Uh, how much water are we outputting? 88 per second, and it's actually significantly less than that, because we don't need 633 powder per second. So it's really more like 70-something uh, water per second. Uh, we should have room... Well... Let's get rid of these. I know we don't need to pick up or drop off the water or pyroflux often. In fact, it literally takes, uh... 568 seconds before we need more pyroflux for each half block. Oh, I know. Why don't we just use one side for the water, one side for the pyroflux. And then that way... That way we can have some nice, fast pumps. So this will be our surplus water output. Short trains are fine, I guess. Although, we should probably make sure... Yeah, we, we can just wait till there's more water here so that it loads faster. Okay. So we don't need beryllium powder dropped off. We will need uh, beryllium hydroxide. You could make this dropped off as well, um, but we're going to be building the beryllium hydroxide next door anyway. Actually, beryllium hydroxide is actually quite slow as well, so we could make this part totally modular. And we could just, like, 
build a neighboring block with beryllium hydroxide and slap it in there. But for the actual blueprint, we could make this completely modular because all the inputs are quite slow. All the I.O. seems reasonable. So this is just pyroflux. Uh, and this right here is water. Water and nothing else. We could make the pyroflux be dropped off on the bottom and have the hydro at the top. Uh, yeah, we don't really need to, though. Okay. Um, we could put this a little bit closer. Looks a bit more, I don't know, consistent that way. And water is just going to find its way back here. Actually, uh, if we're going to do another copy of this on the other side. That is actually symmetrical, isn't it? Very nice. So that's going to go there. Nice and cozy. That's going to go here. Uh, so water... Well, I guess it's not really a great deal of hassle to get the water to connect over here. Water's pretty slow, so that should be fine. Alternatively, I could, like, turn these around so water goes up here, but then the beryllium sulfide uh, input, it, beryllium hydroxide is going to be just as awkward. Okay. So we'll just connect these like so. And now we'll do beryllium hydroxide build. Do I want to do it up here or over here? I'm thinking probably to the left. Considering uh, where we're building this stuff. I, I, I am going to like delete this at some point. But... Well, I guess if we're going to get rid of all this, then we're going to end up with, like, a nice straight vertical reduction chain, which is easy to follow. Yeah, let's do it further north. So another block here. Maybe it's too slow for venting. Uh, we don't really need to vent it when... There are builds that require water, um, and we don't necessarily want the trains going all the way back here. Every single time. It's just a little bit convenient not to throw it out. Alright, so this... Oh, this needs to go all the way up here. So it doesn't contaminate. There's no way I can fit all of those under a beacon. Not even close. Yeah, no, they're going to have to be there. Errant pipe in top right intersection. Free. Okay. So, we're going to need an amount of beryllium hydroxide, probably not 700 per second, because we don't need that much powder here. 528 per second, this makes 633. So, really, we need like 
uh, I don't know, 300-ish. Five seventy six, five twenty eight, minus nine, plus thirty. Plus thirteen. Yeah, that's getting there. But I bet we can get more accurate. Do we need a two? Nope, that's good. That's really good. Plus 1.92 powder per second. So we know that we need about 294 beryllium hydroxide per second uh, for each side. Beryllium hydroxide. Uh, just one of these makes 264. So we only need, like, 1.2 machines on each side. So literally just three machines would do it. But... Symmetria would be upset. So how about... How about we arrange for these to pipe directly in? Since beryllium hydroxide doesn't go anywhere else, I don't think. Well, it goes into barrels. Oh! It goes into... Uh, Naquium processing. So we do need a train output for it as well. Which means producing excess is definitely not a bad thing. Okay. So we'll, we'll do... Uh, I guess I'll need some extra pipes. We'll do a nice, big, juicy train output down here. One off. Um, may as well do another one for symmetry, I guess. Definitely doesn't hurt to have more than we need. Unless we're going way over the top and it's costing UPS. Okay. So I would like... I guess we'll put these, like, here. Uh, the flow rate for these is slow, right? We don't need to worry too much. Yeah. So I actually don't mind putting it straight into this container. Uh, and just having a really big provide threshold. Uh, for the trains to pick up the fluid. So that there's always some left over for this. And then we can have that not line up very well. I guess we could do it like this. Put that over there. And do that like this. And we're going to need a little bit of extra pipe. Like that, perhaps. That looks pretty cozy. Okay. So these don't have to line up with anything. Cryonite, beryllium sulfate, and it also outputs water. Why don't we uh, output the water down to here as well? So, if we have, like, a couple of these... 
on each side. Wait, this is water input. Oh, we can steal the water from this. How much, uh, what is it, does this make? 176 per second if we're making 704. Um, and it consumes, two of these consume 140 and make 528. Unsurprisingly, it does net cost us water. So maybe now that we're linking these together... Did we not do that before? Water input... There's loads of water here. It's not being picked up. Oh, are these not connected? And we're dropping off water here that's being consumed. Why did I not connect these? Well, anyway, we can rectify it this time. Water output from these can be water input for these. Uh, and I guess... Let's see. 176. 264. This whole thing is 704 per second. If we go for 792, we need 220 water, and this makes 176. It, yeah, it's definitely not enough. It's going to be net negative water, that's fine. Uh, what about the beryllium sulfate? We're definitely going to do that in this block. I think it's from the same machine. Nope. Beryllium sulfate. Yeah, advanced chemical plant. Beryl and sulfuric acid make sand and water. So more water is involved. How did I miss it just now? Oh, there it is. So it goes from solid to fluid to solid to fluid. That's a little bit unusual. What kind of ratio are we looking at for these? More than one... Uh, what is it called again? Sulfate? More than one sulfate for every one... Uh, beryllium hydroxide. But we don't really need four of these. We're doing it to make sure this saturates. 704 per second. And three of these is more than enough. 792 per second. So we need about 200. Beryllium sulfate. Which means... At least five machines. So how about we do three on each side? Make sure everything's saturated at every step. Wait, what? Oh, right. So this would be a little bit bottlenecked on beryllium sulfate. But it would be way overproducing if it was perfectly fed for beryllium hydroxide. Which means that beryllium hydroxide should still be saturated with this. That seems fine. Or for the sake of symmetry, I could just do four on each side. Two to one. We could even direct insert. Uh, we also need to deal with sand output. Also, how much water does this produce? 66 per second, and this one's 146. Huh. Maybe we're closer to being water neutral 
or positive than I thought. I'm pretty sure it's still going to be negative without doing the math through. Okay. You don't need the water pickup? Yeah, I don't think we do. Once we zoom out to look at the hole. Uh, how about I just put this here? There's no middle. Or there, there is a middle, but... Yeah. Maybe do it like that. Um... Hmm. What's the neatest way to lay this out? So we need both the water and the beryllium sulfate from here to here. The water will be insufficient though, so it needs to connect to other things. Not really... Okay, maybe we don't put these way down here. Maybe we just start from here and build something around the beacon. Can I make two of these line up? Nope. Not unless I put a gap, which is probably fine. And a few loaders. Uh, but then the water wouldn't have a way to connect if I do it like that. How about like this? And we need to connect to all this water down here somehow. I guess uh, this could be a water drop-off if the whole thing turns out to be water negative. That'd be pretty convenient. So we'll still leave... We'll still have just pyroflux drop-off, which is super slow, and water pick-up or drop-off here. Seems good. Which means... Uh, could put this here, I guess. Oh, that's actually pretty neat. But I would have to... Well, we're already going to set it up so that we have a really large provide threshold. Because some of this is pumping directly over here. And we want the excess to be available for Naquium processing elsewhere. That actually looks pretty good. I like that a lot. So where's the convenient spot for water to find its way over here? Uh, what if I put what if I put this over here? And then we've got more symmetry. Put that like I don't know, like here. That actually reaches. All the water flowing everywhere is quite slow, so we can pretty much do whatever we want with the shape of the pipes. And if we put this here... Um... That's going to be in the way. Maybe we can come up with something a bit neater. I don't really like to put anything here, but I guess if we know we're putting these two blocks here anyway, that doesn't really work. This could work? Oh, I like that better. Yeah, I like that better. 
And then instead of this, we put this over here. That's all super consistent. Get rid of this mess. And we'll just connect that up there. Meldak posting Choo Choo again. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, that's that looks pretty good to me. We do need to deal with the sand output from these ones as a byproduct. But I'm sure we'll find room for those somewhere. And beryl and sulfuric acid needs to be dropped off. We're, we're not using like half a block up here. Yeah, I was I was a little bit afraid it would come to something like this, but it's fine. But maybe we even... Hmm. I don't think I can leave this half block available for something else and still do all the input outputs. We need barrel, which is going to be quite fast. 7.04 per second, though realistically not actually that. That's pretty crazy for stack size 50. How much, how fast is it actually? Uh, if this needs 352 per second, this can do like 50% more of that. And this is slightly positive, like 10% positive on the beryllium sulfate. So realistically, we probably need like, I don't know, 160 to 200 barrel per second. So up to four stacks per second. That's not as bad. As bad. We could probably direct belt some of it. I don't know. Um, maybe I should make slash move uh, barrel core fragment processing so that we don't need as many train trips put the barrel up here anyway um, that still seems pretty good sulfuric acid is going to be super slow even if these were going full speed 176 per second for all machines is basically nothing. How much sand can they spit out? Not that much. Less than half a stack per second. And the whole thing, even if all those machines were running continuously, never mind the bottlenecks, theoretically would be water positive, but not really. I'm sure it's not water positive. In fact, we can prove it. Let's just put a bunch of water in here. And we'll watch it. Oops. We'll watch the water levels as we do a test run. And I guess we'll confirm now that water is everywhere it's supposed to be. Fantastic. Oh, we need cryonite for these as well. So it's barrel sulfuric acid cryonite needs to be dropped off up here. I guess we'll do one solid on each side. Uh, and we need a sand output. Which we could put just about anywhere. Like here, for example. But I'd rather a bit more symmetry. So let's do a drop-off, or two. We'll do sand over here. Is there anywhere else I can smuggle sand in? Or out? It looks a little bit tacky. I guess it's fine. So all of these need to output sand. Uh, 
and they need sulfuric acid. We could just do... Sand's pretty slow for this block, so we could just do the old push to front or back. Method of balancing. I think you have to connect Pyroflux. Uh, probably, yeah. Let's put some test input in just so we, that we can see where it goes more easily. And I could put a little belt boomerang over here. Uh, or I could just text these. That's probably a bit easier. And we need Pyroflux this way. Okay, that's going to get a little bit awkward. Don't have room to connect it over here. That's going to go in an obvious spot. And I kind of want some symmetry. Or something approaching it. So I guess we'll do it kind of like that. This can go up here. That part's actually pretty straightforward. And we just need the pyroflux in the middle on the other side. Which... Uh, how far can these go? Not as far as I wanted. But I could probably do something like this. That's going to look pretty weird, actually. Wait, that doesn't even... Doesn't even maintain symmetry. No, I don't like that. What if we bring it up here somewhere? Could connect it over there. I don't like that so much either. Oh, can this reach? Kind of. How about like that? It looks kind of weird now. I know these don't go anywhere, but that looks a bit more consistent. Hmm... I think I like that a little bit better. Or maybe... Like this. That seems a little bit less obtrusive. Okay, so all Pyroflux should be connected. See if it flows where it's supposed to flow. Very slowly. Looks like it. What the heck is that? Jackhammer. There's the pipes. Uh, yeah, that should be right. And we could probably get rid of some of this. And do... Oh. That surprisingly doesn't line up with anything in the middle. I guess I could just move this. I don't like the look of that. No, get out of here. Probably better sticking with what we had a second ago. Let's 
pretty easy to follow anyway. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now then. So we're dropping off barrel and sulfuric acid. Um, we can still output the sulfuric acid very quickly. But then Beryl would have to make a U-turn, which is probably fine. The thing is, even though we don't need the sulfuric acid quickly, uh, if we're dropping off the sulfuric acid at the same stop, then it's going to be blocking the barrel trains for a moment. So we want it to be fast. Symmetry doesn't recognize almost good enough nor approaching it? Oh no. I guess... Uh... I could actually do the barrel drop-offs on the sides. So that we got, like... Nah, that's fine. Oh, I know. Why don't we... Why don't we make the sulfuric acid station the sand pickup station as well? We're not going to get in... The, uh, the sulfuric acid train's not going to get in the way anywhere near as much this way. And we can't quite cozily... Well, yes we can. Just connect that like so. So that's sulfuric acid in and sand out, and these two are just barrel. That seems pretty good. Okay. Uh, it's been three hours. I'm long overdue for a break. Let's do some LTN screensaver. Words on stream. Click the boot on. Uh, auto pilot. There we go. Okay. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Perfect level. Nice. Alright. Let's continue, shall we? Where were we? Uh, we're getting pretty close to finishing our redesign. Uh, hopefully our final redesign for Beryl. Uh, and I was going to do Sulfuric Acid Drop-Off and Sand Pickup. Uh, provide Stack Threshold. Request Threshold for Fluids. Very high priority for the pickup. Because we're getting rid of a byproduct. And we're going to want sand. Uh, how much sand does this spit out? Only... Okay, theoretically the whole thing can do 80 per second. But... At the rate that it's actually going to run, if this is saturated... We're looking for 700 of this per second, which is a bit less than three of these machines. So we're looking for like no more than 200 beryllium sulfate per second, which means about five of these or less. Uh, 49.5 sand per second. Uh, okay, I'm not entirely sure I can get away with just shoving it all onto one side of the belt. Um, so I guess we'll do that properly. Or I could do inserters configured to put it on either side. I like loaders better though. So, something like this. That should be fine. And... Oh, we still need the barrel input, so let's make these undergrounds, I suppose. Let me just figure out where this fits first. Okay. When you guess correctly, there's a lock near the word. No other guess is ex yeah yeah yeah. No other guess is accepted for a little while. All right. So each one of these needs a whole belt if it's running at full speed. I don't think the ratioing down is going to make it uh, like one belt between two of these. So yeah. Maybe I should make another container. In, 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 in. I don't want to place any great big splitter monstrosities. So maybe... Just another one of these. With two and two. Just so that we do a merge and split. And that's not going to be that neat. Where should I put this? underground this directly, but I have a feeling it's going to get imbalanced. I 
I wish we had like a 5x5 five five chest. I don't think the built-in inserters would keep up if we do a 3x3. Three three. Mm. Maybe like this? And like this. Does that actually line up? Okay, yeah, I like that. And then maybe... Why are you like this? This goes here. It's pretty readable, but actually, yeah, that is pretty readable. I kind of like this better. I was going to put some undergrounds in, but we, we do like to have a little visual representation that everything is flowing properly. All right, so that's going to go here. And then let me guess, this doesn't line up the same way, does it? Of course it doesn't. Uh, maybe I could, like, flip these. In that case. So we have more of a pseudo-symmetry. So this goes here. These go here. And that goes there, there, and that doesn't work. But I guess we can make it work. I will make it legal. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, I mean, we could always just put this here. That's not that big of a deal. Wait, no, this can go here. What am I saying? Yeah, that's perfectly consistent. And then... We can fit these here. Quite easily, actually. Much better. I like that a lot. Okay. I could uh, wire this up as well, or I could just not do that. It's fine either way. Alright, so let's do our test inputs. First of all, we need barrel. We need sulfuric acid. Uh, we've got pyroflux. We've got a finite supply of water, and we're going to see if... We're, we're going to confirm that that is net negative. It's going to drain away. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Sulfuric acid, and start making beryllium hydroxide. Wait, no. Uh, beryllium sulfate, which... I forgot to filter this. This should be sand only. And no doubt here we've got a jam. Because it output sand at some point. Oh, also, these are wrong. That doesn't help. Alright, so this is beryllium sulfate. And that goes there. 
Oops. Alright, so now we just need... I forgot cryonite rods. Let's put them here. Wait, where are we gonna... Eh, that shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, that should be fine. And maybe we'll do the water here. And this can be, I don't know, more pyroflux. And the water has to go all the way back this way. Wait, how is water getting back up this way? I see. Regardless, we're definitely gonna do uh, gonna do another station here. Uh, it's a drop off though. Right about there. How often do we need crinite rods? Uh, not very often. Stack size 200. Max rate from those machines is 11 per second. Pretty easy, actually. In which case, I think we might just... shove it through this container. Does that line up? Mm, not quite. One tile off. Being able to fit it like this. Alright, so crinite rods in like this. Just enough room to do the same thing over here. And that'll that should do it. Uh, I could always move the beacons down a little bit for the look of it. Kind of like that a little bit better. Cool. I kind of like this. A big spider or something. Alright, so... Cryonite... Wait, no. Cryonite... And nothing else, please. Uh, and as long as we only request up to 300 stacks, which is way more than we need to request, because of how slow the cryonite is, uh, that should be fine over here. That's starting to look pretty good. Uh, and this should be able to run pretty fast. This should be starting to, yeah, slow down based on output is full. It should be starting to stutter a bit. Yeah, there it is. Which is the bottleneck we're looking for. Uh, and we should have way more beryllium hydroxide than we need. Like, uh, I was going to say 30% more, but that's not quite right. Now, why is it only this side that's working? It is all connected. I guess we're just waiting for these big containers to fill up. Yep, you can see that machine's starting to sputter to life. How is sun? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Solution is to send the first one. Oh, right, I see. Okay. So it's going to take a little while to saturate. Oh. No, that's right. The beryllium sulfate is not supposed to be there. Regardless, uh, for testing purposes, let's just delete all of this. How long is it going to take before this side starts picking up the pace? These two are connected in the same way. So why is the right side so favored? 
We've got production over here that's just as quick. That's so weird. These aren't connected over here. So all of this beryllium hydroxide has to go through this way. And yet these machines are stealing all of this. Bruh. Sand seems to be backing up. Uh, it probably was. No, I don't think so, actually. Oops. That's fine. Uh, there's room for 90 per second sand on the belt, and this is 79 per second at most. It is backing up on one side of the belt, because the loaders just kind of prefer to spit out on one side in particular. It's only back this way though. Yeah, yeah, no. It's because the loaders kind of prefer the left side. But there's no actual belt bottleneck here. It's fine. Now it's starting to saturate. That didn't actually take that long. Uh, we don't have sand over here. Oh, we should direct... Hmm. How much sand are we making? Not as much as 79 per second. And this would consume... 80 per second. Uh, maybe we should... I don't really want to direct belt through a whole block, though. And the sand here is kind of slow. And it's not going to be enough to feed this. So... I think... I think we'll skip the direct belting of sand in this case. Obviously, if we were not doing rail blocks at all... Uh, we'd want to come up with a way to hook this up back up to here. But I think that'll be fine for now. Anyway, we do actually need some sand input to these. Do we have to use inserters for the sand input? I mean, it's probably way... it's not that fast, yeah. It's kind of hard to build around the pipes. If we're going to use loaders, and we really don't need loaders to go that fast, so it's super unnecessary. Uh, I might just steal from myself again. I guess we could stick with this part just because, just because the squiggly belt over here is so awkward. Nope, never mind, that's in the way. Okay then. Wait, can we just do the sand input down the middle? Uh, no. There's no room left over here. Not unless we're going to do some weird zigzaggy belt. No, that doesn't work either. Okay, it's fine. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, don't we only need way less... Yeah, we need less than half a purple belt of sand. And if we bring it all through one direction, uh, we don't have to worry about imbalance. And it's slow enough that we can not request so much that it, the train could get stuck here. So, we, whoops. So we're going to do our sand like this. kind of a roundabout way. And that way we don't need an awkward little zigzag over here. And we can very clearly see if the sand is getting to the end of the belt. But I don't think that's ever going to be a problem. So we have a couple of changes to make. Just a couple of very small changes to make to our 
pretty much still final version of ingots. I mean, that was already true. Uh, but yeah, that looks pretty good. And these should all be able to run continuously. Uh, if we've rotated them correctly, that is. Did I do the pipes over this side? Nope. Just delete all of that to make absolutely sure that we're replacing it correctly. And don't forget this pipe in here. So that this can have input. Doesn't look like we're having the slightest trouble pumping the molten fast enough. I might have done a bit of overkill with these pumps here, but I don't care. I'd rather make sure it's enough. Yeah, that seems fine. How much plate can we look forward to? About 20 per second. I wonder if... I certainly hope we don't need to double this at some point. I don't love how much empty space we've got in the first block, but if we're divvying things up into rail blocks, there's kind of nothing for it. Yay, potential overkill indeed. Larius, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. At the most... Oh, right, yes. Uh, welcome in Bassinho, by the way. Pumps are cheap. Oh, yeah. They're like 50 kilowatt. I don't know how cheap they are for UPS, or if they're... If they're more expensive than letting the fluid just slosh around... You know, I don't want to say at random, but as it will... Uh, but yeah, I think that is going to be our new barrel build. Alright, before we copy past this in... Um, oops. We'd better do the LTN settings. Which is going to be a little tedious. Pickup stations are easier since we don't need to put numbers in for requests. Short trains are fine. And then we should set the... provide, uh, provide threshold here quite high, because we want this to be fairly full before we bother to let trains pick it up. So that there's no flow issues like there was at the start. So one quarter full on each side should be fine. And then this is sand, active provider, but also sulfuric acid requester. Uh, for beryllium sulfate, which is made in advanced chemical plant. Requesting, sa uh, not sand, sulfuric acid. Just 100k should be fine, because we're only going through 
less than 200 per second, even at peak, which is, with our ratios, is not going to last very long. I guess it would be fine to request more, but either way. Uh, long trains only, request threshold 60k, and provide stack threshold 100. Make it, like, 105 or something. Because we're pushing the sand through like this. This is a requester. Or Crynite Rod. I think two train loads with a threshold of one full train load uh, is going to be more than enough here. And let me just borrow some of this station. Oop. Some of this station name. Granite Rod Requester. Uh, for the sake of making Beryllium Hydroxide. Uh, sorry, Beryllium Sulfate. Can you tell I'm not a chemist? All right, we need to request loads of barrel. Uh, we can casually fit more than 300 stacks here without having train problems. Let's say four train loads is 20k. And I might end up building a spaceship drop-off near this so that we can direct belt it. Or a spaghetti belt all the way up here from our spaceship drop-offs. Either way. Barrel, requester. Uh, going into... Well, ultimate, ultimately it's to make beryllium hydroxide. Let's just put it at that. Advanced chem plant. Request stack threshold, long trains only, and that should be fine. And then same thing over here. Don't forget not to make this part of the roundabout. Panzer, 2600, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And most of this is staying the same as it already was. Uh, except this is only going to be dropping off sand. No more molten beryllium. There's only one solid here, so we don't need to limit it to like 1.5 train loads. Even though the sand is not consumed all that fast. That's fine. Okay, time to start patching all of this in. That's going to be fun. Um... I guess, first of all, I'm going to kill the requests for Molten Beryllium over here. Uh, and we'll stop pumping it. Let, let it drain out and we can just delete all those pipes. Without wasting anything. And we've got plenty of space for Molten Beryllium to lo load up. Uh, to accumulate while we're building this thing. Let's work backward. Uh, what am I doing? So we'll start with this block. This nice empty block up here. Rock is in the way. And 
floor. Law train. What? What did I just... Oh, it must have been the station. What station did I click on there? It said, like, bar K... Bar K60. What the heck is this? Oh. I have a random LTN stop here for some reason. I do not recall why. But... That'll find its way back home. Okay. Floor train. If you please. And construction train. Uh, we're definitely not carrying the prod nines right now. I'm just going to get... We're just going to build what we can in one trip. And see what's left. Did you get train settings for the middle block taken care of? Um, oh, what is that? Prototypes. I tried to press control E... And I can't figure out what I did press. Okay. Um, middle block. Um, yeah, I think... Oh, I didn't really do the water. Wait, did I put that in the right spot? Oh, uh, what? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Wait, yeah, no, I think that is right. No, it isn't. What? God damn it. Okay, you wait here. We'll just let the floor train do its thing, and then we'll... No, the trains are coming! No. No, 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 no. No, don't put the barrel there, please. No. Wait. Wait. No. Are they no pathing? Where, where did that one go? Do we still have the same... Oh, you don't... Okay, yeah, you don't have a path to this. So you should be complaining right about now. Okay, that's fine for the moment. Okay. Okay, 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 uh, there's also, no, it's happening, I'm just gonna delete it, no, not cryonite rods as well, that's gonna be such a pain to move, okay, um, Stay calm. We don't have a second train coming, do we? We do. Oh, lovely. Okay. Uh, we need to move our construction train up here. Uh, I really should switch off the requester stations for LTN when I'm copy-pasting or doing blueprints. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Stay calm, count to ten, then panic? Exactly. Panic in an orderly fashion. Control shift e is prototypes. I see. What is prototypes? This is some dev stuff. Something you might want to look at if you're making mods. These are the things that make me want to avoid LTN completely. Well, you just gotta... I mean, it, look. It's your foot, right? It's up to you if you shoot it off. Uh, do we have room for this? I guess we're going to find out. And instead of grabbing it from the other place, I'm just going to copy-paste this here. Uh, what is... 
that. Okay, so I should should be able to just place that here, except that there's a rock. Maybe we should save this decon till after we've built these things. Otherwise the bots might get a little bit blocked. Like that. Okay, fine. I'm going over there. Can I do it while I'm jetpacking? I can. Nice. That's pretty convenient. Worker robot speed 15 is already 75% complete. I wonder if it's stopped. It has not stopped. We don't have the little uh, 30 seconds or whatever it is. Everything less than zero. Wait, what? Oh yeah, this time is negative and this is positive. If everything is less than or equal to zero, as in we haven't got a positive signal from reading what's in the hand, then run this timer. And if it gets to one minute, negative 3600 ticks, then science is blocked. But science is not blocked. Fantastic. It's as complicated as you make it, indeed. Find all entities, and you can see things like stack size without the mod, because we can already see things like stack size. That honestly is one of those little things that really should just be built into vanilla. Being able to see at a glance what the stack size for different items is. Uh, why are we full? Well, whatever, we're just going to pick this up. Okay. I didn't pick up the prod nines yet, did I? Don't have any in the mall yet. Uh, there's still just 31, which is not insignificant for prod nines, but obviously they're a little slower than we'd like. We are lacking aeroframe bulkhead. That's why we're fixing barrel. That is why we are fixing barrel. Okay. But we're fixing it properly instead of something quick and dirty. Uh, so is this where this is supposed to be? Two tiles above ingots. Yes. And there's supposed to be furnaces between them. Like so. So, decon all of this mess. Wait, 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 wait. We need to move the... Why is this requesting again? Oh. Oh, it's not requesting again. It's... Uh... It's the schedule that happened already. All we need to do is remove the temp stop from these. And it'll go to the nearest one. Once it has path. Once it has path. Hello? What, what do you mean no path to? Oh, do we not have rail up here? I think we do have rail up here. Zethros, welcome in. Why are we bunking? Signals? Oh, I see. You maybe want to inhibit delivery to the new stations and fill them with the contents of the previous wrongly built ones first. Uh, yes, but 
I also don't want those trains sitting idle for the moment. So they should be on their way now. Also, we're going to go through that barrel pretty damn quickly uh, once we get things going properly. Now, am I really out of... I guess we normally only carry... Is it 10? Yeah, I think we're already out of uh, LTN stops here. Um, but yeah, let's... I almost said pump or pipe. That's not what we're doing with solids. But regardless... Let's bring... Granite rods. Back to where they belong. Uh, I guess I made this a little awkward for myself. Eh, it's fine. Do it this way. That seems okay. And this time we really will be piping or pumping. some sulfuric acid. If we can find a place to fit it. Yeah, that should work. Alright. Why don't I just steal these? We should have enough, more than enough, to make this work. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I guess it's okay if all the cryonite rods end up in this container. Even if we had two train loads coming. I'm gonna take this sweet time at this rate though. 90 per second, more than two seconds game time for each stack, uh, and like 200 stacks. So, more than 500 seconds, um, which is like most of 10 minutes to move the cryonite rods. Good grief. Oh hey, I had some speed modules here. Anyway, let's just put in the tier 6s for the moment. That should be fine. And that should already be the right ratio. No? Uh, I think it's yeah supposed to be a little bit more than 50% speeds, actually. Maybe I changed the module inserter for some other build. Okay. I wish I could easily disable the robots uh, for this. I guess we'll just deal with the train getting overfilled. And the random fireworks, apparently. My man, how you doing? Uh, Marticus, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. One sec. Uh, is that coming through the mic? I think it is. Oh, good. Lovely. Very little? Okay, cool. All right. Oh, I almost ran into that. 
That was maybe a little bit reckless. Alright, there's pretty trivial amounts of sulfuric acid remaining. Um, you can probably... That's not really helping. My inventory is too full to just grab a bunch of this. I could probably add a little bit more temp belts. Needle uh, splitter. Actually, that doesn't really help, does it? Because we're just going to bottleneck. So, like this. That'll go a bit faster. Sulfuric acid is pretty negligible now. Also, if we delete it in the right order, it gets pushed into the next container. And then the pump grabs it all instantly. Construction train bots are being a bit silly. Uh, do we... We don't have this crisscross. Uh, what? Did that get timed out? Because it should have. Timed out. Yes. Okay, cool. So, Bannerino? There we go. Now can you, uh, now you can hear it clearly. Why are there fireworks? I have no idea. Probably because people have contempt for peace, uh, peace and quiet. And nothing else. Uh, did those trains already do their thing? Yeah, we can... We can get rid of this. Okay. So we should be ready to just paste... Uh, nope. Now we're ready to paste the build that we want on top of this. As soon as we empty this out. Uh, and this build doesn't have any rail down here. Happy New Year? Yeah, apparently. Okay. Almost done draining this out. Uh, while we're waiting for that, let's get some floor over here. Floor train should be more than ready to go. Can you pave the world in the top block? Yes, yes we can. What is this build? Oh, it's a, it's an old mine. Cool, we can delete that now. Kind of need... Oh, hold on. Uh, let's make this copper get consumed. Then again, do we really need to? Whatever. I'm pretty sure we've got way more than enough copper from core frags. Random copper over here as well. Alright, I think I can help now. That's We're down to that scale. Very random pieces of stone to throw to the ground there. And here comes our floor train. And the construction train is a bit derpy, as usual. Oops. 
No, I'm a bit derpy. <laughs> okay, I really am going to have to mute for a minute. Maybe it's finished now. Or maybe it's another fake out. Let's copy past to this. Should actually be good to go this time. And we already have a train bringing Pyroflux. Uh, did I end up sorting out the water? I guess I did. Well, actually, we never confirmed uh, if water was positive or negative. I'm pretty sure it's negative. Also, it's going to take more trips to place these advanced furnaces, because they don't stack that big. We don't usually place them. But we can send our construction train back. I think we're good to switch these on now. And already got sulfuric acid here anyway. Cool, cool, cool. Here come the trains. Uh, we also need space pipe. I don't think I have... Okay, I do have the different space pipe sections here. Does the construction train carry space pipe? Yes. I just haven't put sevens in here. No, it left without them. It was like one second too early because the bots were still bringing the pipe. There we go. Why are we reloading the bots? Whatever. Seems okay now. So, hopefully, except for the prod nines and stuff, that is enough to finish the build. We're up to... Yeah, we're still at 31. Where should I use... 31 prod nines. Probably Vitamelange core fragments would be the most efficient use. And that will beget more prod nines. That said, we are playing catch up with Beryl, which is a bottleneck for the prod nines. Is this enough? Nope. No, it is not. So, why are we putting speed modules in these things? God damn it. I do recall recently I changed this yesterday from prod to speed for some other build. Hmm. 
There we go. And one more trip. And we should have everything we need in our pockets uh, to finish the build properly. Alright, so with five prod sixes, uh, we require... Whoops. Eleven is two megawatt each. Okay, so 50-50. For these two. Ratio is going to be a little bit different than what we figured out with the uh, tier 9 modules, but that's fine. Uh, and for these two, probably one more speed module. Because there's only four prods. Yep. And we also need a couple of pieces of regular space pipe. Well, technically we don't need them, but... I'd like the consistency of the look. And I'm just barely too late. Of course. Of course. Space pipe. We only need like 10. Are the bots going to get there in time though? I think so. Uh, I think so? Yes. Fantastic. And looks like we're ready. We're out of white beacon twos. That's an example of something that I haven't bothered to fully automate. Getting from upstairs to downstairs or vice versa. Because the overall throughput for them is so very low. That we can just grab them when we need them. Don't need to add one more complicated exchange system. Let's grab 50. Oh, we don't have that many in reserve. Never mind. There are pipes missing, yes. Or oh, there were. Do I not have the prod modules here? Oh, these are still asking for prod nines. Alright, is that everything? Ghost, zero. Any modules missing? I don't think so. And we know that's the correct ratio for four prod fours. Because we just did it down here. Fantastic. Maybe I should have done this up here. Nah, it's fine. Much easier to pipe the uh, beryllium hydroxide than to belt the output, the beryllium powder. Pipes down to your old smelter build. Uh, yes. Oh, right, I haven't done this part yet. Fantastic. All right. Need to get rid of all this as well. Actually, we're outside. Oops. Uh, we're not quite outside of the construction train range. This will make it a little bit easier to decon this stuff. And I want to just get rid of this and place it all again. It'll be easier to not mess it up. Also, we're not going to be using this anymore. Right. 
sand can go back in here. And copy past of this. And it should be the same except for the backward belts for the most part. And we need this to go up here. Can't tell which way it's facing. But I'm yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it's fine. Need a few large storage tanks. And that should pretty much be it. More sand is coming because I increased the request amount. So then we'll reactivate this as a train stop. To pick up the old... Holy crap, there's a lot of molten beryllium that accumulated in that time. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we're already out of water, so we need to make this a water requester. That one loose end I completely forgot about again. Alright. So, water, uh, lots, and go. There we go. Where are you going to get water from? Down here. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, the overall rate of consumption of water for these blocks should be very slow, so I don't see the point in typing it directly or anything like that. Flip your pumps for the water station. True. Very true. Get too much traffic. And this arrangement doesn't pump water very quickly. Hmm. I know both of these are slow, but maybe... Maybe having... A train take this long to get loaded when it doesn't need to take more than a second is not such a great thing. Anyway, we're very, very saturated in barrel itself. That was the case all along. Here comes our water, and we should start seeing beryllium hydroxide. Fantastic. That didn't take long at all. And once we have beryllium hydroxide, we start to get beryllium powder. Once we have beryllium powder, we start to get molten beryllium and finally beryllium ingots. It should be a lot more consistent from now on. Uh, and then we want to build the requests. Well, hold on. We're direct belting uh, beryllium powder, so we don't want to stop requesting that. Uh, probably stop requesting the pyroflux. If we don't want to waste it, we'll pump it back here. Yeah, there's going to be plenty of room for that. Uh, so that block can stay the same. Except that we're no longer requesting pyroflux. Beryllium hydroxide. 
Definitely don't want to be requesting that anymore. Over here. Uh, and how are we going to get rid of beryllium powder? Well, we're, we're requesting it up here, that's how. And what about this stuff? Stop requesting beryl. Uh, I guess let it keep requesting sulfuric acid in case that gets low, because I want it to consume all the beryl. And that's already switched off, I believe, because we're direct belting. Um, that's just requesting granite rods, really. I don't care about the water. Yeah, I want it to go through all the barrels, so I guess we'll leave the other requests intact. And then that's beryllium hydroxide. Which we've got way too much of over here. The only other place it goes is Naquium. Uh, and we'd have to... We basically need to pump it up here, I think. UPS with the buildings and bots are still pretty fast. Yeah, we've got a lot of upgrades. Alright, so... Wait, that's beryllium hydroxide? And that's a request for beryllium hydroxide. I see. Okay. Um, I guess... We're gonna want... To start pumping this... Why don't we pump it nice and fast? Of course. Um, can I fit? No. I guess it's going to be a little bit easier. If we put this over here, it'll be easier to spot to get rid of it later. Bring this up through the middle, perhaps? Uh, gonna need a bit more underground pipe in here. Oh, the construction trains. No, that's me. That's the construction me is still here. And make sure that really obviously doesn't belong. Uh, and back here we need corners. Close enough. Alright. Oh, I need a bunch of pumps. Also, did that train bring what it was supposed to bring? Yes, it did. Construction train is fully loaded. Uh, where did the pumps go? Up here. Wait, no, I need pumps all the way across, so I need to steal some. Where's our train? Here we go. Pumps are in here. There's only... They got split somehow. I should probably empty the train when it gets back. Unfortunately, we can't measure how much is in an individual cargo wagon or check that the stacks are not split. So the only fix is to empty it and refill it. 
Wait, I don't have enough pipe? Man. I could probably handcraft some... Nope. I need steel plate for that. Bruh. Okay, fine. Wait, don't empty yet. Okay. That was close. Why are we reloading the bots? Whatever, seems good. Uh, we want construction train to visit here. And that's probably all it needs, honestly, but we'll go here as well for good measure. And that should get us pumping all of the beryllium hydroxide that we already had out of the old system. Cool, cool, cool. Molten beryllium is here. Uh, what is this again? Powder is here. Do we need a tag for that? I guess it makes it a bit more clear what's happening. And beryllium hydroxide. We don't need to illustrate every step, I suppose. Alright. Now, is that already pumping? Yes. Yes, it is. 2.142k per second. Very, very consistently. For the moment. And then we'll just wait till all of this is drained of barrel. Oh, and I need to pick up the beryllium powder or belt it over to get you to get that used up. Wait, no, beryllium powder gets used over here. Uh, I just need to do a temp input of. Molten Beryllium to use up this. Oh, careful. What's Arco Collector Ship doing? Uh, it's chillin'. It's not getting... not getting hit by meteorites. It's just having a vibe. I think we already converted the Arco Spheres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I vaguely remember doing that. All caps. Arcosphere consumption last happened almost two hours ago. That was 24. So we currently have in reserve 20 to 33 of each type. That's pretty good. That's very good, dare I say. We could maybe start thinking about scaling up in the not-too-distant future. Okay, I was going to fix these. And let's get rid of the old wind turbines. Do I not have the pipe? Uh, fine. And this time, we really will empty the train when it gets back. I'll make sure we don't have split stacks and stuff like that. Alright, uh, how has our beryllium been lately. Let's look at plates since ingot was like fairly full before anyway and it's now kind of saturated. Beryllium plate. Um, plate. There we go. Production. Line go up. 
line very, very clearly go up. Let's see how it goes. How many speed modules do I have? 13. Uh, yeah, I'm now at the point of just referring to tier 9s as the modules themselves, as if anything below it doesn't count. 53. Could I maybe consider speed buffing this whole thing? Uh, it would be 4 times 24, 96 plus like 26. That's a bit much. Also, we would need to speed these up to keep up. Uh, I don't know how badly we need that right now anyway. It's more that we fixed the bottleneck, uh, the belt bottleneck that we had here for the beryllium powder. Which was not noticeable for a long time because we had way more than we needed. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, powder is getting saturated. Love to see it. Wow, molten is... Well, of course it's getting saturated. We have all this in reserve over here. And it's now pumping. But I'm pretty sure... This would be way more than enough. By now already, anyway. So what's our max rate? Which we're already not doing because output is getting saturated. I didn't even think about how this machine can't go to plate. Well, I'm sure I did the first time I built it and decided it was fine. Since all of the plate consumption that happens upstairs uh, is delivered via... Beryllium ingot. So it's really just the plate downstairs that those four machines don't feed, which is probably fine. Um, are we not delivering the plates upstairs? Because... No, we've, we've got tons of it. Wasn't beryllium plate what was missing over here? Oh, aeroframe bulkhead. Wait, does that even trace back? Yes, it does. This is where we were looking before. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're still not delivering any plate, at least not here. There is now a train coming, though. It's just about to happen. Where is it going? Aeroframe poles. Oh, these are super prioritized because we need them for space elevator cables or something. Yeah, probably better to catch up on those first, even if there's quite a lot of them still. Uh, but how long until we get another train load? Brilliant plate. Very steady for the last minute. 11k per minute. Um, it is actually starting to bother me a little bit that just these four machines aren't being used for plate. Especially because we ratioed them so well. Like, it was just barely positive. No, it's just barely negative. I think with the tier 9s, it's just barely positive. On beryllium ingots. I mean, I could... Do a direct belt just for you. Four times. It's a little bit messy. Fine. Fine. Probably not really needed in the long run, but we are playing catch-up. Or maybe I could just do this split down here instead. Might 
be a little bit better. Like... Like this. And just do regular belt here. And then just belt that there. Uh, same thing over here for the sake of symmetry. Wait, are those using opposite sides of the belt? Yeah. That's coming from over there. Any one column surely isn't producing that much. Seven per second. Should probably just like merge it here. Be a little bit less messy. Kind of. I don't really mind that that one comes from over there. But these two using opposite sides of the belt was kind of bugging me. And I guess for the sake of symmetry... Put that over there. Let's make it so we can see a bit more what's going on here. Wait, those are ingots? Those are ingots. Uh, I guess that's a bit more consistent. That seems fine. And because the each side of the belt is a non-trivial amount of storage. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll use the opposite side of the belt for these three. Oh, we're out of molten? Wait. What? 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 Huh? Oh, I didn't rotate this. It was all messed up earlier. There we go. So this needs to go like this. And that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Good, good, and good. Uh, and I guess we'll just copy paste, because it's easier than double checking this. Uh, glad I didn't walk off and not notice that. That's going to be a pretty significant boost. Yeah, we're getting close to another train load already. Okay, so if. Oh, we don't actually need this now, do we? Mm, this looks really unnecessary everywhere but here. Where is that going? Wait, where is that going? Pretty sure that belt never did anything. Okay. That's better. Look at all those ingots. Uh, this one's turned around. Wait, what? There's something else on this belt. I see. Okay. 
Okay, so you're working, you're working, you're working, albeit not as fast, because you don't have a backlog. And you're working as well. Cool. So now we can actually get the full throughput downstairs, if upstairs is saturated, which it is. And more aeroframe poles. Wait. I see you. There's our aeroframe bulkheads. Uh, which are waiting on scaffolding. Which is getting made directly over here. But we're still filling this up again. Which is taking like more than half of the scaffolding for now. So we've been short on beryllium for a while, it seems like. But we should be playing catch up pretty quickly. We're already saturated on poles. It takes all three to make aeroframe bulkheads. Poles go into scaffolding, which goes into aeroframe. Uh, also, this is missing Immersium Plate, apparently. It's all on one side. What? 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 Hmm. That shouldn't be... Well, we're still running this at two-thirds capacity before the train comes. How did it get so imbalanced, though? The two side ones can go down here. All three can go to these two. That should not be that imbalanced. Maybe it's because aeroframe poles were short. Short train pickup? Wait, what? Well, yeah, we can do a short train pickup here, but all of these go through this one. Like this, this belt goes over this way. They all go into this container. Yeah, it's not direct inserting. It's very weird. Um, does that mean I need to... See, this one's balanced. Look at that. I was going to say, does that mean I need to rethink all these builds? But apparently not. Very odd. Maybe I'll just go rebalance that and hope for the best. Oh, it's right here. Maybe it was... putting in some old stuff that I forgot to rebalance or something. That seems optimistic. Um, but yeah, aeroframe bulkheads are going to take their sweet, sweet time. Before we have... Where is it? Three arrow bulkheads makes one lattice. Lattice stacks to 50, so does arrow frame bulkheads. So th three train loads of... Uh, bulkhead makes one train load of lattice. And bulkhead is quite expensive. Hmm. Now the poles are slow? Wait, what? Oh, because the train picked some up, that's why. Okay. I guess we'll give that some time. But I'm a little sad we're not making prod nines again already. 
Uh, that said, I should probably go pick up the 31 that we do have and put them into Vitamalange Core Fragments. Eighty five percent on worker robot speed fifteen as well. Looks like science is jammed though. Well, not jammed, it's just uh waiting on resources. Use your tier nine modules on all counts? That's probably a good idea, yeah. What are we missing? Energy four. Energy 4 is probably just waiting on some resources. Uh, solenoids, for example. Wait, a Holmium solenoid needs short train. Which means we need to do the belt thing over here. Okay, I'm going to put a pin in that. Um... Not going to worry about it that much right now. Here's the mall, which means we're close to our teleporter. Which means... What? We can get to the other mall very, very quickly. And then go collect our prods. Fantastic. No efficiencies either. They are waiting on... Quantum processes. Which is probably... That's not quantum, is it? Yeah, it is. Holmium cable. Huh. Why Holmium cable? Did I not get the schedule started for this? Uh-oh. Holmium... I don't think we did. That's a pretty big oversight. Um... Okay, one thing at a time. Insert prod modules, train schedule for Holmium cable, etc. This should be recharged. Fantastic. Your... Uh, so we want to do... It's just one machine, and bulkhead is really expensive, so yeah. Even though it's, like, several steps into the production process, I think that's worth prod nining already. Why has this got a million speeds? Must have been playing catch-up at some point. Uh, and then we'll put the rest of the prod modules in... Vidimlange, I think. Yeah, we're not seeing any extract except at the highest priority drop-off to make reagent. Although there is a lot of reagent here, surprisingly. That can't be doing that badly. Still, uh, more prods in Vidimlange leads to more prods. Where am I going? Oh, I know. Why don't we search? Tag? Uh, bulkhead? And keep it up this time. And then follow the arrow. Fantastic. All right, front nines, and I'm sure we don't need uh, nothing but speed modules here. Whoops, wait, what did I just, where did I, what, hold on, what? I had speed sixes a second ago, right? Oh, they're in my trash, oh my god. Don't scare me like that. Okay. 
minus 80, minus 80, plus 100. Uh, it seems like... It seems like we're almost exactly matching the uh, aeroframe scaffolds coming in at the moment, actually. 6.4 per second. Sure. We'll leave it like that for now. Aren't you now limited on barrel instead of vit? Barrel? Oh, barrel. Uh, for the moment. But that's because this was bottlenecked needlessly for a long time. We're playing catch up on that. Um, but I'm pretty sure th once things settle down... We're going to be needing Vitamelange core frags faster. Because it takes an insane amount of Vitamelange uh, to keep up with demand for Vitalic reagent and everything it turns into. Here we go. Alright. Nothing but prod nines in our highest priority Vit core frag drop off. And we've still got 20 left. Love to see it. Should I start prodding these or should I start prodding. I, I think I should start prodding the next steps from this block that get direct belted so it's like higher priority. There we go. So now we're going to get... Uh, let's see. Instead of plus 56% productivity, plus 80%. At the first two steps. For most of the core fragments and like... Half of all the Vitamelange that gets turned into nuggets. That come from that. Cool, cool, cool. How fast does this consume? Exactly 90 per second, so it's not belt bottlenecked. Fantastic. And are we making these way too fast for this stuff? These are also nuggets. So probably not. We're still a bit negative on nuggets. That's fine. Uh, Captain Tree, welcome in, if I didn't say so. Oh, these are already speed nines, I forgot. Okay. That, I think, is a pretty good use of the prod nines for now. I can see the beginning of the end. The saturating modules everywhere. Alright, what should we do next? Good question. Good question. Pretty sure we've already got plenty of efficiency sixes up here. Only six speeds, loads of prod modules. And when yeah, we've got insane amounts of efficiency sixes. So, we're basically just waiting on... That's right, we need to do the cables. Holmium cable, indeed. Holmium cable. Libda, thank you very much for the 15 months. Much appreciated. Very much. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. And thank you for reminding me about the Holmium cable. Uh, let's go do that now. And I need to do the... I need to do the belt things. Oh, I already left that there still. Okay. So once again, I'll just do the whole block. Like, it's a bit more uniform and I'm not going to, like, forget this or that resource. 
So we're going to push to the front and limit the front wagon, uh, or bulk rail loader rather. if we can do all of that in one trip. Meanwhile, we need to take one of the old trains for one of these resources, like Crynite Rods. Uh, send it downstairs to the pickup version of this down the elevator with you and then once it's there we'll copy paste edit a similar schedule so it's easier not to mess it up okay uh so what are those resources again Chromium cable, gear, plastic, cryonite rod. Cable. Gear. Plastic. And rod. And the train should almost be here. Here it comes. Put it on manual. There's our friend as well. Copy paste the schedule. And substitute granite, etc. Over here. Wait, what am I doing? Why did you change the main database from Nalvis? Uh, the main base from Nalvis? Uh, a few reasons. Let me just finish this, I'll get into it. Uh, empty cargo. Alright. Down the elevator, depot. Pick up whatever's here. Up the elevator, depot, drop off. That looks right. Uh, but there's nothing here yet. So, so please wait. And then for you. Similar deal. Vulcanite block. Requester is empty. Provider is full. Down the elevator depot. Go pick stuff up. Up the elevator, depot, drop stuff off. That looks right. Cool. Now we just need to switch these on, which we prepared earlier. And I'm pretty sure we already moved all those resources across. Fit the reasons under 90 seconds so it can be clipped. Okay. Uh, off the, from what I remember, three main reasons that we don't live on Nalvis anymore. Uh, for one thing, Hagen is smaller than Nalvis, so it costs less energy to get on and off planet. Radius is only down to 3.8k, but it's still better than 5.7. Uh, the second reason is we've got an exotic resource natively on our main base planet, so we don't need to go to another uh, outpost to get Cryonite, uh, especially if we do pick the right resource. Um, it's very easy to... I, I don't think we've ever made another outpost for Cryonite. Uh, we don't need to have spaceships or something bringing that resource to us. Uh, yeah, pick something that's relatively easy to keep up with. Uh, and the last reason is spaceships... Uh, the distance that they travel on the interstellar map between stars like this it doesn't scale the way you might expect it to what with it being space and all 
uh, the distance traveled to go like from Nalvis all the way down to the interstellar map. And then once we go from Calidus to Kalmea, uh, if we're going all the way into Stromhurst, for example, the, the parts of the journey that are in the solar systems are actually a much bigger fraction, a much bigger chunk of the journey than you'd expect. So being close to the interstellar map uh, is actually a pretty big advantage. And this is about as close as you can get, almost. Um, in the late game, we exploit an anomaly which is equal distance to all entrance slash exits to interstellar maps or like uh, asteroid fields. Uh, so being closer to that helps a lot. It, it's the difference between the journey being like 20,000 and change, like maybe 2,200 distance uh, for each leg of the journey, and like 3,000. Oh, sorry, no. It's 10,000 plus, so like maybe... Uh, yeah, maybe like 1,200... Uh, 10... Uh, 12,000 each way, as opposed to like 15,000 or something. I think that's more than 90 seconds, no doubt. Are you not in the endgame? Uh, yeah, we are. Uh, a lot of these ships... So, y you might notice that all of the spaceship traffic that you can see at a glance on the interstellar map is only between our two nearest stars. That's because most of our ships... Um, are traveling somewhere via Foenestra, and you can't see them on the map. Uh, this one is currently leaving. So when spatial distortion reaches 10,000, you've reached Foenestra. And once you're there, you can go to anywhere. Uh, it's like 10,000 distance to get back to the edge of the solar system, basically. So we travel to Foenestra, and then we travel to Toucan Orbit. Toucan is... Where the heck is Toucan? Um, let's see. Toucan is in the Capellus system, which is... way over here. So the distance from Hagen orbit to Capellus, or to Toucan, is 110,000 and change. But if we go from Hagen orbit to Fo, uh, to Fo and Estra, uh, it actually doesn't show the distance here, but basically it's a little bit more than 10,000. Uh, and then once we get to Foenestra, we go to Capellus, and that's 10,000 and change as well. Um, so we can go pretty much anywhere we want. And it's going to be less than 50,000 distance uh, for to get from A to B. What's your goal? From the tech you already have, it looks like you're done with the game. Uh, did you not win yet? Technically, we've won, yes. You're playing with some high sights, uh, multi. We're just aiming for continuously any type of science pack or any combination of science packs, three per second, uh, which is a lot more than it sounds like. Um, that's our goal. So a few more speed modules in this compact beacon here, and it'll just take the one Singularity Lab to process all of that. Um, but the materials to keep up with it are a little bit extreme. Biological science in particular is ridiculously thirsty. Oh, that reminds me. Um, so why is this not moving? Energy 4. Oh, right. It was Holmium cables. Haven't been moving for a while because we didn't configure this properly. Okay, wow. Um... 
I misconfigured this. That's good. I thought we had a real problem here. That should not say steel gear wheel. That should say iron gear wheel. And this one does say steel gear wheel, right? Yeah. Yeah, I forgot to make the schedule uh, to have the train bring these four resources up. Or these four as well, for that matter. So, Holmium cables stopped for a while. So we don't have any uh, quantum processors. So we don't have energy science for. And there's the cables. There's actually three trains coming for cables already. Uh, no, there aren't. I haven't named the stations properly yet. I'll have to wait till the trains finish what they're doing, otherwise we could cause problems. This map doesn't end until t -Hacks launches more collectors than... That's not going to happen. We're not spending two hours a day launching collectors. Came to relax, welcome in. Um, yeah, I'll just not worry about it for the moment. As far as I know, there are no plans to make SE depend on the expansion. Oh, as in... Yeah. I would certainly hope not. I mean, maybe a different version of it, sure, but don't like... Don't like update it and brick it for people who don't buy the expansion. That'd be ridiculous. Okay. What are we doing next? And why do I have 203 beryllium ingots? Make a donation to launch collectors? Oh, is this my aggressive monetization arc? Um, honestly, I'm kind of blanking on what to do next. Because it's all about pushing the bottlenecks so that we can get more prods, for the most part. Uh, why were efficiencies stopped? I think it was also because of quantum processes. Which was because of whole meme cables, which we just fixed. There's some efficiencies. Um, where are we going next? Maybe I should take a break if I'm so blank right now. T Hax's rent seeking. Okay, that's not rent seeking. More monetization means T Hax could afford his own fireworks show? I mean. If we multiply everything by about four or five, I could actually make this my job. But that's a bit ambitious. Rename the stations? Ah, uh, true. I'm gonna have to... Hey, we got him. Okay, turn this off first. We don't want a train being scheduled for this while we're renaming it. You are... Going back to depot, that's fine. Okay, Holmium Cable. Fantastic. Um, iron here. Dunsky. Plastic. Name in base. Game to relax. No worries. Plastic. Vita and Rhinite. I believe we also need to update not just these four next to them, but all of this green stuff as well. Yeah, those don't have proper names yet. Okay, where are we putting Game to Relax's name and base? Uh, we're a bit full upstairs, unless we start using the other elevator, which doesn't get a whole lot of attention. 
game to relax. How about... Why don't these line up? I, I, don't, I don't know. It's fine though, probably. There we go. Fantastic. Enable short trains? Uh, I think we did? Oh, as in the LTN settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one was it that was suffering because of that? Cables? Probably. Alright, so I just need to copy these combinator settings. For everything but... Well, I was going to say for everything but the requester. But the requester is a vanilla schedule, so it doesn't have a combinator. Okay, that seems fine. Um, this one has a train coming. Oh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was hom it was homium solenoids. That's what it's going to science now, isn't it? Yep, energy three, I believe. Energy. That's astro. Energy three is right here. We've still got the little baby uh, research servers here. Because I just haven't bothered updating them yet. And the nasty old scaffolding. There we go. And that means we can now get energy four. Uh, at least we have quantum processes. Cool, cool, cool. Good call, Dylan. Why is there no option to bomb the names in base? Uh, that would be rude. I don't want to start wars between viewers. That seems counterproductive in a number of ways. I mean, I'm sure it would be content, but maybe not content that everyone would appreciate. Especially when their name is deleted. Okay, uh, what are we doing next? I could decon this old stuff. We finally cleared it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not old stuff so much as... A uh, temporary thing we had to make to clean up our mess. Of course, when it's a mistake, it's our mess. But it's also the royal we when things go well as well, so that's fine. Alright. Straight rail. Get out of here. And uh, this one. Be gone. Got to keep the decon train busy so I don't have to go to the trouble of telling it to wait a minute. Oops. No, 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 no. Yes. Fantastic. And it looks like we collected all of that in one go. Bundipa. Although the bots are a bit... No, they're fine. Cool, cool, cool. How are we doing for barrel at this point? Uh, yes. Yes. We, yes, we are. That's good. There's still so much left. I think it's going to take a while to drain out the old outer. Yeah, all of this beryllium hydroxide. Should I pump this into... Probably, yes. I'm surprised I... Oh, I did already do it from here. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should probably do that as well. There's a pump over here that'll do the job. Don't really care if it's super fast. Uh, where am I looking though? I think this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. West dude doesn't have enough points to restore his name if bombing would be an option. Savage. Oh, we need to refactor uh, Vulcanite at some point. I certainly hope we don't need this many machines. And, or this many machines times two for the end game with high tier modules. Uh, I could say something similar about uranium, which I've been procrastinating revisiting as well. Uranium is so easy to mess up. Looks like everything's super saturated now, though. Uh, lithium chloride is slow. What is it? it? Certainly doesn't look like it's slow. Hmm. LTN's not keeping up. Looks like we've got plenty of LTN trains. Maybe because I changed the settings for the scheduling, it's a bit too slow. That doesn't really sound right. Maybe I could change the train limit on this. I don't know if there's an implicit train limit. Oops. Uh, save game is not a bad idea. We'll do that in a sec. LTN. Train limit. I thought it was unlimited by default. Because I've definitely seen, like seven trains be scheduled for a station all at once when I didn't put a train limit on it. But that's for a requester. Limit trains... six. It would probably help as well if I had another train stop to pick this up. Or if I just direct belt it... Maybe I could move this up here. That might not be a bad idea, actually. Okay, we'd now have... No, that's one train. No, that's actually zero trains on the way to pick this up. Okay, I take it back. It's one. Why is this completely saturated? And it let this get to zero, and there was only one train on the way, though. Second train output or pickup? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I think it would be better if I just copied or moved this over here, though. So we can just direct belt it. Because with the ratios of uh, how much we're cramming into these bulk rail unloaders, um, it's really not enough to make sure the lithium chloride is well stocked. With how far? Oh, hey, we're saturated at this out uh, at this drop off anyway. Metallic reagent is completely saturated. I guess our consumption of Vitamelange probably slowed down for a bit because we're not making the Prod 9s because of different resources missing. Because we don't have lattice pressure vessel which traces back to barrel. Yeah, that probably has something to do with it. Also, science has been stopped for a minute. So I guess it's not that good of an indicator.
that everything is groovy. Alright, what's next though? I keep asking myself this question. Uh, I didn't finish renaming these. Let's tie off those loose ends. Also, we fixed the short train issue here. So, switch these ones off for now. Give it a proper name. Wait. You're headed back. Okay, cool. Beridexium, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Holmium solenoid. Steel gear. Sulfur. Where are you headed? Blank cards. Sulfur provider. Radical Ponage, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Vulcanite Block. Oops. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, waiting for trains to empty old. We did that. Fantastic. That's why we didn't finish the Holmium uh, cables earlier. Cool, cool, cool. And we've already named all of these properly. It's a little bit of a mess on the map, but yes. Uh, and that leaves these ones. Alright, let's switch off the LTN combis again. This is Spice. This is extract. Uh, fertilizer. Bio scrub. Reagent. Wait, that's not much reagent. It is more than a train load, though. Oops. But I think I should probably increase the requests downstairs. Uh, oops. Poxy. Provider. Did I switch these on? I did not. Uh, and uranium. Two, three, eight. And two, three, five. Cool. Oh, and then just switch one of these on. Copy pasta settings. Make sure they're right. Short trains. Uh, I'll wait till I find out that one of these needs short trains. I think. Doing fine. Fantastic. And we'll go downstairs. Oh my god. That's a bit much. Uh, we'll go and make sure we're requesting two train loads. I, I guess we already are. Yeah, but we've got like 1.1 train loads or something. So let's make it three. I want to have a little bit more in reserve. Upstairs. 10k, stack size 50. Okay. And this is already set to 20k. Because it's got a stack size of 100. Dub. Oh. So those are on their way. Fertilizer and reagent. 
And same thing over here. Uh, 60k. Here's three train loads. And 30k. And then this will go straight upstairs. Any second now. Yeah, actually still takes a little while to load. Actually, I kind of like that it unloads a little bit faster than this loads. It's kind of convenient for the traffic. How do you keep track of what is all being made, etc.? Uh, well, we've got a few tools available to investigate ourselves and find that we did things wrong. Um, but other than that, it's... Kind of mostly a matter of trying to do things right so that we don't have to think about them again. T-Hacks, I resolved the reward queue. Oh, thank you. Did I... Did I forget to take off the name in base or something? Game to relax. I thought I clicked that. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll take a little break from just trying to push bottlenecks and stuff and play with a spaceship or something. What can we... What we gimmick can we... The entire site spaceship. It's the only way to be sure. It's the only way to be sure. D-hose? Uh, how about we nuke some dirty water? How many more nukes do we need? Uh, hard to say. The targets are getting a bit more sparse and, you know, less spectacular, but there's still quite a few things left. Zedius would like a nuke. It's the only way to be sure. It is the only way to be sure. Fantastic. The game doesn't end until now, this is clear. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna I be here forever. Jacobas? I say we take off and nuke uh, the entire Uh, as well. Okay. Veldak, if you please, could you keep track? Because I'm gonna lose count if people keep spamming them. And that was Polymen, right? And next one is Jacobaz. Uh, how about, how about this one? That looks weird. I say we take off and oh boy. The there it is. <laughs> Alright, so that was Jacobaz, right? Uh... Solomon, Adamaran, and Monster to go. Three to go. Any specific requests? Nope. Cool. Alright, let's nuke this. One. Fantastic. Uh, two is going to be this one. Beautiful. And three, uh, I guess over here. I say we take off and, nuke and the four. And another one, indeed. It's the only way to be sure. Alright, War Striker would also like a nuke. 
what's the most substantial target around here? Probably we could try aiming between these two. There we go. Alright, is that everyone? Correct me if I'm wrong. Nukes for all. Well, everyone who saves up points anyway. Cool, cool, cool. That should be everyone. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Alright, uh, should we do a gimmick spaceship? This ship was way faster than I expected, but the defenses weren't good enough because of that. Trying to make it uh, similar, but a bit bulkier to have more... To have like a whole extra layer of shields. Wouldn't be that difficult, I guess. It's not that interesting to me right now, though. This game doesn't end until we fly over 400? You didn't even reach 400, did you? Wasn't it like... Like 6,000 hull stress to, to reach like 350 or something? Something crazy like that. I wonder how far we can go on Steam alone. I did 406, but the ship exploded. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, we're still kind of... Kind of using these as power plants as well, while these ships are sitting here. I guess that's fine. Antimatter goes a long way. What, what does it cost to refill them, though? It's not just energy. Like, not just the antimatter and energy. Um, out comes empty mag canisters. And then... Where are we picking... Where are we picking up the antimatter... I think I vaguely remember. It's where we make the deep space probes, right? Here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arcosphere collector, even more advanced. Uh, it's just energy and thermofluid. And the thermofluid loop is a little bit annoying. That's not that big of a deal. Antimatter's super cheap. But what it does, it is very cheap. Hmm? Why are all these inputs saturated, but... But we don't see these two in... Wait, what? Is that recipe different? No? What's going on here? Particle stream... Oh, that's misaligned. Was that on purpose? I... I don't think so. No, I think it was. I think I, like, pick a dollies it so it wouldn't work for a sec. Uh... Just because we wanted to ration this or something. But it doesn't look like we need to ration it now. Cool, cool, cool. What's the rate for all of this? We can't uh, module these. So this is probably all final build. Two per second. That's not three per second. Might have to revisit that at some point. Your designs are more optimized than mine. I believe in you. Oh my goodness. Veldak used flattery.
Whoa, I felt like that train was going to hit me. Uh, how's that barrel? It should be super saturated, right? Yeah, it is. Very, very saturated. How long till we catch up? Uh, a while. For aeroframe bulkheads. Are these saturated? Not even close. Good to know. Uh, maybe I should put some prods in here. We calculated that hopefully this is like all we ever need. And I don't really want to temporarily double it. Uh, we're not getting any more prods for a minute though. Okay, how many lattice pressure vessels do we already have? Like half a train load? And how much does it... How much does that translate to? Oh my god. It takes 10 stacks of lattice pressure vessel to make one prod nine. Um. Wow. So one train load of lattice pressure vessels is 10. 10 productivity nines. I'm all the more impressed at how many we've made so far. It's actually a better effort than I thought it was. Holy bananas. Um, yeah, but you still need only two modules from below tier. I'm still at three. You're on point five. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. It's going to be ages if I don't, like, make a temp doubling of this, though. Bruh. I say we take off and nuke the entire site for Morbid. Hell yeah. It's the only way to be sure. Where should we nuke? Look at all those nuke holes. That's a lot. Oh, here we go. Survivors. Fantastic. All right, Maxine, that one's for you. Boom, indeed. Rian Shaz Shazia, welcome in. Kimmy, welcome in also. But what do you even do city blocks if you won't temporarily upscale? Uh, lots of reasons. So that they're modular, more easy to manage inputs and outputs and stuff. Uh, the only downside is, well, not the only downside, uh, but one of the trade-offs is when you end up with some resources that are extremely high throughput for their stack size, the solids, or loads and loads of fluids, uh, and you really want to do some direct belts or something. So we do make some compromises or exceptions. Like, we're no longer going to be... Well, we stopped doing that a while ago, actually, but we're not training molten beryllium, for example. Vitam lunge, as in just raw vitam lunge, is a pretty good example as well. Stacks to 20. And the output from this block here... Uh, it, we've got more speeds than I would go with once I've saturated everything with modules. But... Currently, this block here can do 240 per second. 12 stacks per second. That's a little bit fast. Don't necessarily want to be forcing trains to carry all of that. Which is why we've been direct belting it. But because we've got limited uh, prod 9s, the spaceships like to land on the one at the left. So we prod 
prodded that first. Uh, it's still got the direct belts to the north and south, but we're allowing trains to pick up from here as well. So about half of the output uh, of Vidamalan just getting trained to other blocks. With not as good productivity bonuses. Well, actually, this one down here is only as good as those others. We started putting some prods up here, though. I wonder where our... I, I wonder where the current catastrophe that we're not yet aware of is happening. Something I leave broken for hours. And then it takes hours to catch up again. There's an awful lot of train traffic right now. Oh, we haven't actually deconned this. And we're actually ready to do it. Seems good. Let's get to it. Um, Vitalic Acid, though. I don't think I knew. I don't think I did a new build for Vitalic Acid yet, and that's looking awfully scarce. Probably because we're prioritizing reagent here. Which is probably not the worst idea. Well, it actually kind of hard prioritizes epoxy, but... Uh, as resource dense as the epoxy is, one-to-one uh, -one the demand for it isn't anywhere near as high. Alright, I am going to lose my voice if I'm not careful. And I only took one break today, I think, so let's do that. I want to go back to the mall as well. Got a whole lot of random crap in my inventory. Veldak is anticipating words. You thought it was words, but it is me was me. Uh, what's that game called? Stream Raiders or something? We're not going to do Stream Raiders. Don't worry. I'd certainly never do it like nope. scheduled every half hour or something like that. Okay. Let's on stream. Uh, up next, level 8. We got a perfect on level 5. Alright, we'll start words in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay, how are we doing? Wait, where? What? There we go. Game over? What just happened? Wasn't that level two? Was it one of those unbelievably difficult ones? Nothing, nothing happened? Oh, good. Okay. Alright. Let's maybe play with a spaceship or something. RNGs, nothing to see here. The variance in that game. Oh, where should I put the telly modules? Probably here. That's fine. Um. Yeah, the variance in words on stream can be pretty extreme. Let's just drop all of this for now. And the antimatter reactors that I'm carrying for some reason. Okay. Uh, so what gimmicks do we have left to play with in a spaceship? I could do a full steamship, like 5k, 5,000 degree steam, but no, uh, no reactor. We'd have to deal with the lower temp steam and water for output, which means we'd have to have storage for those as well, unless we wanted to vent it. But I'm wondering... Like, basically we'd be making a sprinter with a smaller power plant. We wouldn't need these, we wouldn't need these, we wouldn't need the solid input-output. Pretty much just this. And some storage tanks. I guess it's not that much smaller, really. Hmm. Although you could, you know, make all the high temp steam just paying electricity instead of antimatter or something. We already did a ship that ran off of laser artillery turrets. What if we tried to make a fast one that did that? Just how much power do these need again? Max consumption, 150 megawatt. Compared to the... Compared to how thirsty shield projectors can be, I wonder if that's not that insane, actually. Okay, just how many laser... Uh, laser artillery turrets do we have? 70. I can feel a gimmick coming on. I guess we could keep some of the shields. How about... Every other shield... On the wings... Becomes laser artillery. Uh, where does this fit? Here? How many would we need? Depends on how fast we're going. Hmm. Okay, screw it. No shields. We're gonna see how fast we can go with laser artillery. In place of shields. Uh, where does this fit? Here, here. I'm sure this won't be power bottlenecked immediately. 
but we'll get a feel for just how much power we would need. If all of them were firing continuously, which I would certainly hope uh, we don't quite need that much. Then we'd be looking at... well, let's finish placing these first. It looks kind of weird. Alright, so... laser artillery 28. 28 times 150 megawatt is 4.2 gigawatt. This is capable of 2 gigawatt. So we'd have to make the power plant a bit bigger. I think. Probably a bit more optimal to swap some of these for shields. Um, oh, it's quicker to go up there with teleporter, isn't it? Boop. Wait, what? Boop. And boop. And let's go for a ride. I do want to bring some spare... Uh, walls and stuff. What else might break over here? Probably nothing that we can't catch our way through. Where's the door on this thing again? Oh, that's the wrong ship. Did I put a door on this? Oh yeah, it's way up in the armpits. Let me, let me in. Okay. Prediction is up? Wait, what's up? Doc. Do you have spare parts? Yes. Oh, prediction's up, as in up, right. Uh, have you blueprinted that ship? I might have. It wasn't, it needed refinement anyway. Unless you want to speed limit it. Um, but let's see what it's capable of. For starters... For starters, we'll just go to 100 and see what happens. Let's aim for... Crystal Collective? Fifty percent yes to no. So what's the prediction? What's the wording? Oh my god, that's loud. Jeez. Okay then. Uh, this might be more effective than I thought, but I'm pretty sure we're power bottlenecking already. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that happened faster than expected. Wait, are they overkilling little asteroids? I'm, I'm pretty sure... A loud noise? Let me turn it down for you. I, I'm pretty sure they're... spending like 50 times more energy than it takes to kill these little rocks. Yeah... There's, there is no overkill, uh, overkill, but there is open fire and I need to reload. And this is way too much, I need to reload. Ravna. It never goes fast enough to fail. No, it doesn't. Like, it'll... Because these will super... Even if I uh, uncap the speed limit, these will super prioritize power over the engines. Um, yeah, let's stop. Am I carrying shield generators? Shield projectors? Yes, I am. But why, why aren't we stopped? Okay. Uh, oh my god, that's loud. I'm gonna turn it down for myself. 
Okay. I'm pretty sure if I change this volume, it doesn't affect it for you guys. Okay, so... Let's make half of these shields and see what happens. And the shields will basically just be like a last layer of defense. Uh, this one as well. Why don't I use decon? Is that symmetrical? I think it is. Um... Alright, I feel like that's still going to just suck way too much energy into the laser artillery, but let's see exactly where we stand with this. Shields? Yes. Let's make new prediction in future when ship will have enough power. <laughs> Engage. Okay, that's already looking a lot better. But I'm pretty sure we need to, like, double our power plant to consider a build like this at the bare minimum. So I'm thinking much bigger power plant, more like our victory ship. Not necessarily as many engines or not trying to make it as engine dense with this kind of layout. And go from there. This is looking pretty stable for the moment, though. Accumulator charge isn't really going up, though. Oh, it's probably because... What speed are we at? Only 37 of them. Okay, no. Yeah, we're speed limiting based on accumulator charge. So if we actually go 100, it's, it's gonna... It's gonna crash pretty quickly. Figuratively or li uh, literally remains to be seen. I think probably figuratively, because again, defenses super prioritize energy consumption. So it's not going to run the engines as fast as it should. That said, this is surprisingly steady at the moment at 85 speed. But what happens if... I make all of these report speed limit. So up to 1200 target speed depending on accumulator charge. Uh, Where's our accumulator charge? It's quite low. But our target speed is still... It's only 180. I'm not really seeing the artillery with this more sedate build uh, doing much that the laser turrets wouldn't do, though. As a non-believer, I failed to account for low power and ship not moving. <laughs> I mean, is it a win if this is stable just because it's not capable of getting itself crashed? Wow, we're actually up to 220 for a moment there, at least. I wish we could get the laser artillery to just ignore the smaller rocks. That would actually make it viable as... Or maybe even like, uh... What's the term? Like the thing that you're compelled to use competitively. Like the optimal build. If you're really trying to make a good fast ship.
But the fact that we keep overkilling the small asteroids means the laser artilleries are just unbelievably inefficient. Prediction was just, will it take damage? And it didn't. Fair enough. The meta, yeah. There's a specific term I'm blanking on. Dominant strategy. That's it or close enough. But yeah, this is nowhere near crashing or getting up to a good speed. So let's go back to Hagen Orbit. I kind of do want to make a fast laser artillery gimmick ship, though. And keep the volume turned down when we test it. Okay, uh, we don't want to auto-clamp because I'm going to be in the editor. Now then. Well, I guess we can... Start with this. Takes so long to place floor for some reason. There we go. That's way bigger than we need. Um, so, should we borrow our cascading power plant design from the victory ship? It's going to need to be bigger than this direct, like, no heat pipe connection here. We were saying 4 gigawatt on the low end, and this is 2 gigawatt. Because, yeah, if all of these were laser turrets, uh, sorry, laser artillery, and they were all firing continuously, because that's really what we have to balance it for, right? is max power consumption. I think we should go for 6 gigawatt, which is actually what we've already done with the victory ship. Maybe even more than that. Uh, we should probably start with this, though. Okay. Um, I don't want to fix the volume. It's not as bad without as many laser artilleries. Alright, bring the volume back up a little bit. Now, we're not necessarily doing the engines like this. We're not as worried about keeping the ship smaller. Doesn't the Nexus add... The Nexus adds arbitrary hull stress, right? Not container stress. No, it is container stress. Hmm. Which means hull stress is still at a bit of a premium. Instead of all the... Uh, uh, like, this is still bigger hull stress than container stress. Instead of all the power being sucked up by the Nexus, it's going to be sucked up by laser artillery. I could literally just take the victory ship and it full of artillery. I think we should go all the way to 8 gigawatt, though. How are we going to lay that out? Just extend this? I don't really want the heat pipes going further. I kind of want, like, a symmetrical... in four directions... power plant in the middle... And we can make like a diamond or something. I read interesting take on warp travel. Warp field itself could protect the ship from space debris. It might accumulate debris in front of the ship as ice glacier during ice age. Pushing rocks in front of itself. When the ship exits warp, the ship will effectively shoot the debris forward. Oh no. Oh no. So you're going to make a shotgun uh, on the scale of, like, a... 
I almost said coronal mass ejection. What I meant to say was... No, I keep... My brain keeps going back to CME. Gamma ray burst, that's it. Alright, I, I guess I'll keep that side for a reference. But I want to do something like... We're trying to do eight of these on each side. There's no symmetry if I do this. Maybe... We need two for each, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is only four. Come in, let's try and see what happens. Oh no. Um. So where are these going to fit? I don't think we're just going to do a line like this. Probably keep it to sets of two or something. Like, kind of like what we've been doing here. So if we're trying to do something like this pattern, I don't want it to stretch that far vertically necessarily. Uh, but where's the, how's, how's the water going to get back if we do this? Hmm. That needs to go at least as far as there. Heat pipe would be a bit of a pain with this. Also, that water's a problem. Oh, uh, are we going to need more antimatter reactors? If we're doing 8 gigawatt? Probably. Um, I'm pretty sure this doesn't approach 8 gigawatt. So it's plus 200% neighbor bonus. 1.2 gigawatt times 4 is 4.8. So the reactor column needs to be bigger. Uh, at the very least, 3 by 2, I imagine. Um, so that's 1.2 times 4, 4.8 plus 1.6 times 2. Uh, 4.8 plus 3.2, I should be able to do that in my head right now, but I can't, uh, is exactly 8. Wasn't expecting that, actually. How do you feed middle reactors? I know, I know, I'm gonna have to change the layout here, but I just wanted to do the math on the actual output first. Uh, maybe I end up doing 2x4, just for symmetry or something as well, but at the bare minimum we need 2 by 3 Probably, uh, probably we end up doing the reactors horizontally instead of vertically. Perhaps. So something like this, to feed it, maybe, and if we do these two, uh, I need some room. Why do I have all this barrel? Let's get out of here. Naquium heat pipe. Uh, so we're trying to do eight of these, right? Four on each side, which means eight of these on each side, which means four per quarter. Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe like, kind of like this. there is a bit of a problem. 
but heat pipe could go this way. And then these two are not going to fit so cozily, are they? We're trying to stay under the halfway mark here. Hmm. That way is also a problem. Don't really want to put this here either. What did we do here? And are we going to do it again? Where does this go? Straight from this one. Uh, I should have... Should have kept this a bit longer. Maybe we'll end up stealing from this build a bit more than I thought. Because there's only so many options here. Where did this one... Oh, I see. But we can't keep going up that way. So maybe... Maybe what? Maybe bring this down one? So that this can connect here? It's like Kerbal Space, you just select components by blueprinting them from Toolbox? We should have some jingle for editor mode, something like... Well, it's design time? Uh, are we back by now? I think we're back. Let's, let's just park this thing. Uh, and get rid of all the artillery for the moment, at least. Okay. Uh, I was going to say maybe I'm looking at this wrong. Maybe we could go like this way, but then we wouldn't be able to get fuel into all the reactors. Oh, hold on. Hold, please. There is actually room to put these here if we use a little bit of heat pipe. If we use a little bit of heat pipe. Where is that in my inventory? Over here. Uh, we need... Was it four per quarter, not four per side? So this is like halfway there. And then, don't tell me this fits. I'd be surprised. No. Can't fit one of these in here by one tile. Hmm... Hmm. Four of these. That's not going to work, is it? Kind of does. That might not be too bad. So we're aiming for 8 gigawatt, we've got 16 high temp heat exchanges. Uh, where are we going to put these things? About here. And about here, right? 
Where's that one going to get its water output? Wait, no. This goes here. Wait, 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 wait. Is it as simple as that? It depends on what shape we're happy to build the ship around. But we already know the ship's going to be quite big. Make that a three. Uh, and this goes here. And here. Don't even need to flip that one. I kind of like that. I'm sure Seif would be proud. Wait. So much copyright infringement. What a... What are you on about? What? To do, to, to, to... It's fluid time? Well, as long as you don't try and trick me into singing happy birthday, that would be terrible. Um, let's do... Oh, we need the uh, condenser turbines to support them. One to two is fine, right? Or the exact ratio that we figured out was nine to six. Or six to nine. So eight would be... How many? If it's 1.5 times... Oh, it's exactly 12. Right? Yeah. 12. Okay, so 6 on each side. Condenser turbine. 6 on each side. It's gonna be kind of tricky though. Oh no, it's yeah, it's like three for each quarter. Um, gonna be tricky to make that fit conveniently. Of course, I mean that's the whole thing with these power plants. Maybe where's that gonna go? Nowhere. Good talk. Hmm. That doesn't look so great. And there's nothing approaching symmetry over here. Well, if this goes here, that's as convenient a place as any for a bit of storage. And we need one shed between the two of them, which means way too much pipe. Probably better to just add one more of these and not worry about a perfect ratio. And I don't really think we need that much storage. So... That doesn't look that good. How about... What? How about this? Where should I put the storage? Let's just connect these and see what we see. There isn't really one convenient spot for it. Unless we use a huge storage to even then, it doesn't line up that well. Can't squeeze anything in the middle. Wouldn't really want to anyway. 
It's the perfect spot for some accumulators. So maybe like this. That's actually pretty consistent. I actually don't mind that at all. Can we fit some laser artillery Rosalie, in here? Not quite. But we could certainly put them like here. Okay, so now we just learn to mirror this. Uh, where is this going? I'm confused. Send help. I, I'm so confused. Is this one of them? I think it is. Wait, no, no. Okay, could we start over? Let's get this quarter, remove the stuff that arbitrarily won't flip. F brings us over here. Rotate, rotate should bring us over here, right? And flip that brings us over here. And then we just need some condenser turbines. And that should be that. And we should probably have some storage for water. Even if it's not necessarily like 200k. To do two 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 is designed for all of us who can't sing. Okay. Uh, that looks kind of cool. Can we build a ship around it? Let's start with some engines. Uh, I could do some underground belt. Belt? I could do some underground pipe here so that we can put these close together. Mm, that doesn't actually line up the way I want. That's fine. And anti-engines. Whoops. Like so. Probably put them further back if we're going for like a diamond shape. Uh, I'm not going to put that there though. I don't necessarily need to put these as close together as possible, but... Well, let's see. No, the closest they can go together is like that. And that was somehow convenient. No? That was not convenient for our storage tanks. That's the version that's convenient for the storage tanks. We'd have to go pretty far back though with that angle. We're not necessarily trying to cram in as many engines as possible. Uh, what if we go... Kind of like this? Wait, what? Uh, I am bad at this. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, we already tried that. It's too narrow. Can we not find a good repeating pattern here? I guess not. Not using exclusively antimatter engines at least. Is that too shallow? It's going to have to be like that. And flip it. 
Wait, where is that going to go? Like this? Oops. Put it together. And see how it fits. Ooh. Okay. Uh, almost perfect. I'm gonna have to bring it back one. Otherwise, there's no way to get that antimatter through there. I would avoid using so many tanks. Uh, well, we need some tanks. Uh, and maybe from here we start going more... God damn it. Okay, one more of these. And... From here we start going more, like, vertical. Perhaps? So that goes over here. Oh, well, that looks kind of neat. Could maybe even bring it back a little bit, depending on where we end up putting the walls and stuff. We're not just going to go straight diagonal here, but... Uh, it's a good start to get a feel for what we're going to do, at least. Ooh, maybe we do. No, I kind of want to mirror this... this look. Yeah, I, I want to make it kind of symmetrical, front and back. But for now... Just do it like this. And start thinking about how the front is going to look. Hexaship? Exactly. Symmetry comes in many forms. Love the design. Thank you. Okay, uh, so we're going to want, like, obviously loads of laser artillery. Um... And we're going to want to do some rough math, or precise math, on exactly how much it would cost to fire all of them continuously. And preferably symmetry with the laser artillery as well. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Um, so how many laser artilleries is this? 22 times 150 megawatt is 3.3. 3. We can almost... We can more than double this. I mean, some power is going to go to the engines, but it's going to be trivial compared to... I mean, compared to one laser artillery. We're looking at 1.03 megawatt per engine, and 150 megawatt for a single laser artillery turret. And we'll name it the Titanic? The heck is this? Darth Vader is back or what? Yes, indeed. Bacow, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And thank you very much for the 18 months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Dardanome, awesome cat. Welcome in as well, by the way. Um, I guess I could, like, trace the 
outline of the engines back here as step one to getting a good imitation at the front. Why are we bunking? Oh yeah, I never got the volume back up. There we go. Alright. Actually, temp blueprint would be easier. Okay. Let me just get rid of this already. Whoop. Okay, so this is going to be our basic outline. For the walls. I had to cut it that close, didn't I? Oh, God damn it. Uh, wait, what is that? This part's wrong. It goes there. Okay. Cut. Can I get it without getting the pipes? No, weirdly enough. All right, just delete that. It's easy to replace. And this goes about here. And we're going to want to, like, you know, tweak that a little bit. But we do have quite a bit more space for more laser turrets over this way. How about, what is this, six by four, over and over again, um, there's no symmetry to that, unless I, what if we double it? I don't think that's going to help, actually. That's too fast at first. What am I doing? I'm confused. Yes. No. No, there's no way to do a nice consistent line with these numbers. Pretty sure. The prediction? Will ship get damaged without shields? Uh, the previous one or this one? Okay, I guess we can play with the numbers a little bit here. So... We could just change the slope a little bit. So that we can make something consistent. Right? That's definitely not it. do we have to tweak? I guess literally just make it like this. It would be a bit flatter at the front. At first. But then we want it to change direction at one point. Right about here?
something like this. Or maybe a little bit sooner. Not quite. Lines are hard. Evidently. Uh, can we put a clamp here, to, or do I have to move the entire thing? I have to move the entire thing up one tile. Or up and to the left. One tile. And the other clamp should mirror it, no problem. But uh, we probably actually want to start from here. Maybe like this. That doesn't look very good. That does not look very good at all. What if we start with this? Okay, that's better, I think. And then around about here or here. Changes. Hmm, maybe. It's getting there. Let's see the whole thing. And see what we want to tweak. That's actually not too bad. I would like this slope to be slightly slopier, but I feel like we can't with a consistent line. Can we change this to be a little bit longer? Uh, like that, actually. Something like that. It's stubbier at the front. Actually, that is a pretty slight change in that line. So maybe I can do it in the opposite direction. Maybe change this a bit sooner. We'll probably have to transition between 3 gap to 2 gap. To one for a couple, yeah. I could, like, get a circle uh, from online somewhere, but we're not actually trying to replicate a circle here. What if these were a bit stubbier? Is that too aggressive? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. That looks a bit better, I think. And this just needs to connect somehow. We're definitely, we've got a lot more space up the front than behind the reactor. I could always just move the reactor forward a bit. Or move the whole ship around it. Three to two to one makes it look better, indeed. Even though we are going for kind of an angular look. It's still a bit better, I think. I think I want this right here to be a little bit more of a severe change in angle. 
even though we don't have such a thing back here. Is that uh, streamlined? Probably. Okay, it's like some kind of giant tick or something. Let's remove these walls. Do I have a decon planner for that? I do. And remove some floor. By which I mean thousands and thousands of floor. Quite literally. Come to think of it, there's always a delay when we place loads of floor, but never when we decon it. I wonder what's going on under the hood. For that to be the case. Doop, 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 doop. doop, doop. And I'm sure we could do the streamline calc before I remove all of these, but I want to. Not just for paranoia for the calculation, it's weirdly therapeutic. There we go. Uh, I haven't actually put a console in here yet. That's not going to be hard to find a place for. Integrity check. 4.137 thousand hull stress. Do we even have that much researched? No, we're at 4,000. Wait, no, we're at 6,000 maximum. This thing... Yeah, no, 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 no. This is 4,000 maximum. 2481. Uh, research. Spaceship. I'm pretty sure this still needs whatever we're short on. Probably energy four. Yeah, we need energy four. Uh, that's Astro. Fell for it again. Energy four is looking for quantum processors, which is going to be Holmium cable. Which is probably just an actual shortage of Holmium. Or maybe not. Um, so we're bottlenecking on 90 Holmium per second, apparently. This, uh, this connection right here. Hmm. I mean, uh, it can push... It can push Holmium cable straight from here to here, but then that fills up. And once that happens, we're bottlenecked on 90 per second this way. Maybe that's not good enough. Evidently. How long is this going to take to fill? I have a feeling it's not going to... Yeah, it's not going to continue at that speed. Uh, having to... Having to make it short train compatible as well makes it so much more of a pain. I'm not sure what to do about it, to be honest. I guess I'll have a good long think about it. Regardless, uh, let's focus on the spaceship. Check with integrity. The console looks so tiny on this one. We've got a lot of empty space here doesn't need to be this big. And it is only 137 over our current limit. Also, did I actually... I did mirror it, right? Yeah, that's symmetrical. 
we should definitely remove some of the space at the front. I, I want to move uh, all of this forward as well. It's going to be a bit of a pain. We don't need we don't need this to be quite so cozy at the back. Uh, but it's actually about time to finish for today. I'm definitely not going to finish this build in two minutes. Why are there all these hoverbots? Alright, well, it's almost time to look for someone to raid in any case. Uh, and also, if I didn't... Well, I, I somewhat mentioned it before. Um, but I'm going to be taking a bit of a break. Uh, no more than two weeks from streaming. I, I realized recently I've been doing this longer than I actually thought. More than two years, and I've never really taken a break. A day off or two or three here and there. Or if I'm sick or something, but never, never an actual break break. And it's a bit overdue. So no stream for maybe as much as two weeks. No more than that. Enjoy your break. Thank you. Thank you. Um, But yeah. When we come back, we will continue, of course. Uh, and I might have some more goodies. Like emotes and stuff sorted out by then. Alright, let's find someone to raid for today. Enjoy your time. Thanks for the streams. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, take care. And, uh... Mr. Nickosable, thank you for the follow. Who should we raid today? Resolve the prediction? Uh, I thought you could... I, I thought you did that. What's the... What was the outcome? Prediction. Will the ship get damaged without shields? It did not get damaged, so if you want to be technically correct, the best kind of correct, then, yeah, no wins. Choose outcome... no. Fantastic. I can't resolve it if I vote. I see, I see. Okay. <laughs> that does make sense. All right. Uh, anyone doing SEK2 or should we drop just drop in on someone familiar? Oh, tool assisted speedrun. That looks trippy. When it's running. In between when it's running, it's a lot of... Uh, very careful step-by-step -step programming, though. Um... Oh my goodness. Valdek, thank you so much for the gifted sub. For the Streamlab spot. And 124 gift, uh, gifted subs in the channel. I cannot thank you enough for that. I would have thought a... I wouldn't have thought a bot would need a sub. I think you can, like... I'm just going off what someone said ages ago. I think you can, like, ask for a sub for the bot or something. I don't remember. Uh, anyone doing SEK2 in English? Not today. Day, it looks like. Yeah, not that I can see. Hofnix is doing random rampant speed ish runs. Rampant's pretty rough. Oh no, went offline? Wait, I did or. Oh, Mr. Dane did. Damn, that's bad timing. Oh, he was doing SEK too. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do Hofnitz. Alright, thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, 
uh, stay safe. Which will be two weeks or less. Um, but yeah, I do need some... Not just some time off, I, I need to sort some things out, like uh, chasing a job before my funds run dry. Have a good rest, thank you. Take care, Crazy Heather, e uh, Evil Plant, Data Gnome, Veldak, of course, uh, Turtle. Thanks for hanging out, thanks for the subs, thanks for the engagement and everything, and the well wishes. Bommy as well, all you lovely lurkers. Uh, do you take care till next time? This. Oh, the people from Tyrannosaurus. Hello. 